now the information has been re has been uh, gathered, collected, and now we're gonna see the uh, the findings as we get started with match number one right here on TNS. Bro, this man played Quan and Frost. He must be a different type of wolf. Cause what? Other? What you doing here? Oh, they over here in front of his face. He kind of disrespectful, but that skeleton's trying to grab them feet, baby. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful with Reptile, right? Because one of the things that Reptile excels at is maintaining that awkward space, that sweet spot, as I like to call it, right there, where he's able to crank out, yeah, that mm. crank out that low. Gotta respect it. It's gonna be interesting to see how uh, Kelso adapts to that, because you know Quan Chi definitely has range as well, but his longer reaching buttons are a bit slower than Reptiles, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. It gets some cause like a bit of trouble for him in the meantime. But the overhead is blocked, but no punish. But wait a second, not watching the toes. Big combo. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Also, what's good, Mr. Aquaman? Mr. Aquaman. NRS royalty in the building. Hey, y'all. We're Sensei. We're doing Sensei. Oh, bro, he ran into an ice cube that far up. That's crazy. You have one yeah, job. Stay careful. away from it. Yeah, gotta be careful when walking up on Quan Chi. You know, he's definitely gonna put, he's definitely gonna make you work for it. Oh, nice jump mm -hmm. out. Meaty was not pure. Oh, it wasn't. It was looking mighty vegan indeed. The impossible burger, but wait a second. The impossible challenge, watch your toes. Oh my gosh, the breaker immediately. <laughs> he just dashed right through. This man don't care. Oh, oh brother, yeah, he did not do the dirty bubble in front of his face and took out his guts too. That's crazy. Now you leaving oh, the yeah, crime classic scene? Reptile, yeah, classic reptile behavior. You know, again, that sweet spot, right? Understanding that you just want to get out, that you want to stop him from doing his shenanigans first. So using the ball to kind of keep themselves in place, but have something occupying the screen work out a lot in Lobuno's favor. Taking that first game there. Remember, folks, you're going all the way through. Coming at you strong, already coming through. Remember, folks, we also have a Macharino on deck, exclamation point, Macharino in the chat to bring up that link. Free coupon codes and sponsor quests to contribute to the pot for free. I will repeat, you can contribute to the pot for free. Utilize those coupon codes. Definitely be sure to contribute. Definitely make sure that we help out these hard working players. And it's much appreciated. Easy as one, two, three, as you just said. All you gotta do is link up to Twitch, any of your platforms that you wanna link up to it, and immediately hit that contribute button. We have over 40 codes to use, so you might as well use them. It'll be appreciated, like we said. But this man has already spent so much meat just trying to break away, but wait a second, he can get the party started. Stump on him real quick. Yeah, and I like this setup, right? Using the uh, frost bomb here to try to keep him away, but it's smart the awareness there from Lobano using the slide to get up in there. Mm, and every time this man Kelso hasn't figured out that he wants you to poke so he can snatch them toes. You know the lizards and ankle biters out here, man. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Lobano is essentially just uh, pretty much like executing every aspect of the game plan, right? Having a counter for seemingly just about everything that Kelso is trying to do, right? Brother, this man does not watch his toes, Jack. I'm gonna give you the bug. Oh my goodness. Yeah, even tried to get the up lock opportunity on that teleport, right? Knew it was coming. Held the defense. Defense wins games. Yeah, defense wins games, but oh my god, the offense is making the championship right now. The down two after the the trade. That was actually crazy. Lebono, that first that second game went faster than the first, bro. Yeah, you know, Reptile is one of those characters that once they get started, it's hard to stop. And also having the Scorpion cameo as a bit of an insurance policy whenever things might not might not be so clear or might not go your way. Having that armor on the uh, pullback there, which was really good as you saw at the start of the start of that game. Lobano using that Scorpion Spear to get out of the way and reset the neutral. And remember folks, this is a first to three set. First to three all the way through, and we're going with a little bit of Tanya Goro. Now, this is going to be a tricky setup for tricky shell for sure, because Tanya having that long, that long button, right? But it is a high, so be on the lookout for Goro to try to get some uh, some cheeky situations with the low grab. I'm going to go for some uh, extra 50 50 damage there. Well, what's these people saying? That reverse kill, so reverse cook. It makes sense because he's in Kale's kitchen. But wait a minute. Oh my god, starting off with the drill immediately? You find out. Oh yeah, my god. And again, using that insurance policy, right? And try to use a bit of theirs, but uh, no dice there on the Goro interruption. He got shimmy about that. That's crazy. Wait a second. He gets a combo in the corner here. Yeah, Tanya is another uh, diamond in the rough, right? You don't see too much of this character, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't have things to, uh, that, she just, that she's not dangerous. Oh, yeah, man. 
she's just such a fundamentally solid character with, in my opinion, the best mid in the game. That 4-2 is so annoying, bro. Yeah, and, uh, very tricky stagger, you know, because she can go into that spin or she can, obviously, you know, cut it short. Oh, my God, but Kelso with the YOLO drills working out for it in his favor. The Wuxi Academy can't stop him. Oh, give me that round two thing, please. I love this name so much. I'm going to get quiet, y'all. Yeah, might for sure. Okay, over. good, good, good. That that just let me know that we uh, we own that tonight because I'm definitely going to be on the same thing. For those of you that have already uh, been around here a few times while yours truly is on the mic, y'all know I love me some round two, round three music. All I need is just uh, round three pyramid, and we're good for the night. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this 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 one, this one the best OSD in, my, in the game, in my opinion. This, this one yeah, is Yeah, this definitely top three. Uh, NRS history, really. Bro, I, I I broke my new PR with this song, bro. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Me. See? Got, bro, okay, he's been hitting consistently for 400. This is crazy. No poking the special from Kells. I think Lovo was waiting on it, too, but he gets the sweep, and he finds himself on set point. Yo, Jackal, it's looking kind of scary for the homie. Yeah, you know, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, right? You just got that person that just knows what you're thinking, it seems like, right? Constantly making those reads. And not to mention, with Scorpion being an insurance policy, also is a bit of a boon for Logan, right? Oh the Scorpion my flame God. breath. The Scorpion frame breath and also the pool being used to this ability. He was able to pull himself and get a whip punish on top of that. That is crazy to think about. Gonna keep himself safe for Goro, but the pressure right now, the throw. Slap him up real quick. Toss him down, Prince. Toss him down. All right, this is uh, Kelso's oh last God. chance to make something work here. Lobano is doing a great job of just maintaining that pressure, keeping things awkward so Kelso can't get a read. Oh, wait, that's it. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know he had the three bars, but that was an expensive one, too. And the stand three into the projectile is going to do a jackal. We got a game, baby. Oh, yeah. No bus ass tonight, says uh, Kelso. We're going to get <laughs> one game on the board in the first of three. People's champion, so to speak. You know, got a lot of Kelso fans in the chat. Kale's Kitchen coming through. <sighs> yeah, that's how you, you know, the woman with, I don't even know how many hands is behind. It looked like at least 12 sets. With that baton, is it a baton? Is it a stat? I don't even know. All I know is it does everything it pays the taxes all in the buff. I have seen that weapon in various like martial arts films, maybe a total of three times in my entire life. I can count on one hand the times I've seen that weapon, and I have never known its name. Jet Li used it once, and I'm like, wow, that's a really cool weapon. What is that? <laughs> it's like they decided to combine a baton, nunchucks, and a staff all together and say, you know what? This is let's let it rock. Let's let it rock. You know what I'm saying? Versatile. Something for everybody. Literally. I love how he made his, uh, his scorpion green to match reptile, but reptile is blue. It's crazy work. Of course, right? The biggest mix-up is when scorpion players rock the uh, the all blue. Scorpion. <laughs> and, and, and it kind of tracks, right, because of who he is this time around. So it's like, yes. well, all right. Well, if we if we go according to the lore, <laughs> push the glasses up. This is technically quite a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Get out of here, nerd. You want to be technical. Let me tackle here. Oh, this is quite yeah. laying in a different uh, timeline. Let me let me adjust my glasses. I'm gonna show my nerdy stuff. Okay, this force is right. on fire. Sure. Oh All right, it looks like Kelso's starting to feel a groove here. Starting to get an idea of uh, Lobano's tendencies, Ooh. trying to get him. But again, the insurance policy. Bro, this man's feet has been getting less. Like, I'm talking like Eddie Murphy was screaming him in that alley in Harlem Nights type of blessed. I'm Come on, that quick. Toe off. Come on, quick. Don't you take another step. I will. Ooh, nice block. Oh, that's, that's a clean a, punch. Oh, yeah. And that's good stuff for Kelso, right? Because now they have the health and resource lead. Uses the armor there to get the opening. Can't break it. Not much damage there because uh, obviously use the resource oh, to get the combo started. However. Oh, I Chicago punish? What are you doing? Whatever, by any means, this Oh no. Oh, you got so lucky. And the poke is going to seal the deal. Checking that kneecap for the one time, make him touch the dirt. Yo, Kelso. Okay. Just a heads up, folks. We got, a, we got a lot of killers in this bracket tonight. We have Tragic, Mac 2 Cold. Looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing yeah. some Mac action tonight. Mr. Aqua, of course. Mighty Unjust. Just Nasty. El Kukui. Yadriel. Ludi. Shady. I hope y'all strapped in tonight, y'all. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun one. It's definitely gonna be a fun one indeed, but it's not fun dealing with this woman swinging from a chandelier. Jesus Christ! And wait a second, that out space was so clean. He didn't go for the side switch, but he's going for the damage. God 
sleep for a Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a good choice there from Lobano, right? Understanding that they didn't have access to the breaker, which meant that they could pretty much cash out whenever they need to. Oh my gosh, Kelso. Kelso, are we going to a game? Oh, yes, we are. You trying to throw up on yourself, gang? That ain't going to be a good look. In the yeah, group, in the group, might in have been group. a bit of a uh, input error there, but Kelso evening up the score. We're moving to game five. We got a game five situation. Kelso say, okay, let me let me put away the little experiment, the side character, you know, and let me pull out the main. All right. Kelso channeling the energy. Taking the support of the people. Pressing forward. Hey, it's only right, you know, he know how to throw out spirit bombs. You know exactly. To, you know how to harness that energy, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. Again, folks, we warned you, we made you aware. Tonight is gonna be a barn burner. Already, we are at a game five, and it's only match number one. The flesh pits. An emissary the may be flesh pits. No, oh, man, I hear the story somewhere message. screaming right now. Oh, right? You know, you know. Oh, yeah. And again, appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Thank you all for showing out tonight. We are steadily heading up here. Already hitting 250. Already close to hitting 250. Remember, folks, make sure you're sharing the stream. That is twitch.tv. Tampa never sleeps. And in case you are unable to catch all of tonight's action, be aware. Don't worry. We will have the VOD up for you on YouTube at the same name. Don't worry. We got y'all. We got y'all for show. Just make sure you're chilling. But wait a second. Speaking of chilling, Sub Zero is now on the screen. The change of the cameo coming out of Labona. Oh no, he got killed by the stagger. Never mind. It's over. Yeah, and it seems that Kelso has now uh, turned the tables and now has a, a has the reads that they need for Lobano, right? It seemed a lot that Lobano was, you know, making those uh, those healthy guesses, right? Those educated guesses, and pretty much just had a just had a had a finger on their pulse in terms of like what Kelso was trying to do with the Quan Chi, but a simple change in uh, character and cameo, you know, opted to change out for both of them, working out in uh, Kelso's favor if they get the opener, and that's going to be another solid 220, 215. Oh God, tried to go for the breakdance, but then canceled it, called in Goro instead, tag him in and tag him out. Jesus, Kelso, stand three into projectile, just the patience. Oh my gosh, the stackers. He's not going to allow yeah. this man to break. He's going to be living in this corner. This guy's toast. Shimmy, shimmy, ya, shimmy, ye. Oh, Gotta be no. careful here. Oh, oh, no. What you reaching for? Oh, he went for it, but he called the close Goro. He blocks the low this time. Kelso learned his lessons. He tied his shoes. All right, here we go. Waiting patiently. And no reason not to, right? Kelso's got the health lead, the resources, even with this combo here. Still going to be able to make it out alive. Burning all the resources, Lobano trying to fight their way back into this. It is now set point for Kelso. I'm going to say it again. It is now set point for Kelso. Got to repeat it. Make sure you understand it. 461, that was a lot of damage. Has a life lead, but oh my god, he just went for it. That man's dead. He's gone. Call in the fatal blow. Goro, talk to him real quick. Okay, okay. you gotta do all that. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. You got it. You got it, bro. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That man's dead. Oh, oh yeah. First, yo, and the punch walk to end it. And that is a game set match, folks. Starting to transition into cross-play style netco, which is a very huge boon to the community right now. Everybody can play everybody. And then not to mention just the overall improvements in netcode in general. Now that we are finally normalizing rollback, you know, even though it took 20 years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. you know, like we're finally getting to that to that promised land. And then with, all, with the C, the multitude of online tournaments that have been available, a lot of them, you know, getting their start during the COVID area, during, during quarantine season. And folks have just been on the grind. And what's grinding when you're doing it from your couch, right? From your, from Man, your it's just beautiful. It just becomes that much more simpler. And like you said, it's just opened up so many people access, uh, just play others online and also get massive practice. In. And it's great to see. It really is. Oh my gosh. Another thing that I love to see is more chameleon play. Chameleon, the new hotness in the, in the, uh, <gasps> the cameo side of things. You should have the fatal immediately. Oh yeah. Gotta be careful. Oh, we there. But remember, you can break fatals as well. So, you know, Blizzard opted to just kind of go for the raw damage there, which uh, worked out. We got the uh, some Molina on Molina action here. Camia, uh, Chameleon in the back there. And remember, the Chameleon, 
the chameleon cameo does switch on its own so the, for those of you that might be a bit unfamiliar the chameleon cameo basically operates on a timer you do have the ability to manually switch the cameo however you have to use the cameo in order to do so otherwise it just switches out on its own after a few seconds each cameo version has its own set of moves it usually has like a move that's a start that's a starter or a launcher and also has a move that you can use as a wake up and one that you can use as like a defense or neutral base option as you can see there the, the katana fan lift op helping a uh, blizzard there you know get a little bit of extra range and speed to close the gap trying to get an opening jade having the glaive that's a mid both times let that sink in it's a mid on both times so you have to block it and it tracks you yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good cameo altogether. Remember, like he said, it switches every six seconds. That is the timer. But oh my God, he got over. But the Brock Barrage, keep it simple. Oh, the teleport oh, again. And that's it. That's it. Oh, <gasps> there's no way he got through in time. And that's a brutal as well. You can put the princess out of her misery in front of her mama for real. Oh, okay, cool. You got it. Brutality. You got it. My fault. Back when brutality was simple, says Baraka. Blizzard taking the first game there against Hourglass of Rain, and that was definitely anybody's round at that last moment, right? It was whoever made the right read. Blizzard opting to go for the armor, Hourglass going for the meaty. And in that case, you know, it's like, what do you do? Because if I guess wrong at any point in this, I'm I'm gone, I'm dead. So good stuff there. Blizzard having the confidence in their game plan, right, to, to see things through. I'm really surprised he still through that because the amount of uh, help he had and he woke up with that armor, I for sure thought I was going to get stuck, but no. It was unfortunate. That boy, he, 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 he made it through. He went through the storm. All right, here we go, folks. Remember, it's a first 2 3 battle here. And from downtown, Rain getting the party started with the Molina ball. Ball roll does a great thing. You know what's crazy that? Hourglass of Rain. That was really good awareness from Blizzard right there. Just honestly, just throwing out the projectile because he knew the lighthouse was coming, so he couldn't get a full confirm from the Jade. That's so smart. But oh, bro, bro, his movement right now has been so good. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely uh, looking like a, uh, a different story here for uh, Rain. They're trying to get things going. Oh, no dice there on the conversion. Yeah, the Katana Fan Lift, it does give you the access to extend your combos in, in unique ways. Uh, an ambush cameo attack, mind you. Man, it's so good. Ooh, the sweep is plus, and he knows. That's what he perspected. Another poke call. Oh, yeah, it's not looking troublesome right now. Go sort of back three. He's trying to go for another poke. Man, oh, snipe him out of the air, and that's going to be a full confirm. Is that death? That is. Our glass of rain striking first blood here in the corner. Now it's back to square one. Oh, that's a full come. Oh my god, I did not think he was gonna get there in time, but he did. That 2 1 got all that range. I love. Whoa, 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 that combo. Get the back throw. We in the corner now. Wakes up with buttons, no fear. And swinging, knocking down Kung Lao as well. Trying to step on the toes, but nothing right there. Off with the jump this time around. Coming out of Hourglass, forced to break. Oh, oh my God. Oh, another one. Oh, we just, we don't care about any of those. We definitely broke Oh my God, hit both of them too. Wait, one more confirm, that's it. One more mix. You threw a blade charge right there. Plus, and you don't care, I respect it. <gasps> huh? That looks mad weird. Oh, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, get get the time, there. right? Okay. Yep. Get off the head? Oh, yeah. Give me my ruler back. Now, this is disgusting because, you know, like, I, I know you got the Tarkov, but you don't got to eat his head like that. You Okay, you just starving, huh? Okay, sweetheart. Go ahead. Do your thing. Well, you know, that's how it goes. Baraka, you know, he's trying to get away. Lena's like, you know what? This is who I am. So be it. Oh yeah, she want a piece of that action, but um, ain't nothing right there, woman. She, you, you, you ate everything. You know, it's, you know, let, let her eat. Let her eat. Let the princess do her thing. That's one to one. Yep, there we go. Going to uh, change into the stage here. You know, I feel like this is actually uh, you know, this is uh, one of those moments where stage selection is 
more for aesthetic than strategy, right? Because the stage sizes in general are pretty, pretty huge. You know, this is easily probably one some of the biggest that uh you know the stages have been uh for MK for sure. Oh yeah, for Thinking sure. Thinking back, sure. uh, you know, for Injustice 2, how it seemed like you had all the room in the world to, to run. My around. God, he was like, "Where <laughs> is the corner at?" And you're like, "Oh, it's over there." And then someone hit you with a back three. Like, "Oh, well, now we're back to the middle of the stage. Never mind." Yep. That's it. Like, man, <laughs> he's just like, man. Okay, well, I guess we're just going for a ride here. But yeah, I think the longest stage on this game is actually they said the pyramid middle, but every other stage is pretty much the same as the version of this. Oh yes, sir. Give me that hard knockdown. Oh, never mind. You dropped it. My fault. Right, Look at here. Boy, you Our... knew it. Yeah, still unsafe, even as an assist. Double overhead, though, by the way. So be aware of that, guys. Yeah, MKX vibes, you know. I Gotta wish this was back. That. Well, there you go. No, oh, you no, thought he was going to get you the whole, the whole character like that? Ha <laughs> ha! No. You're funny. <laughs> she already got a double overhead. She don't need another one. Please. Yo, like cut it out. Oh, interrupt him realizing the day was on the screen that that's not a real block string and look at the damage off this into another Kung Lao setup, by the way. Jesus, 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 he's dead. It's over. You can't are you gonna guess right here? Wait, the up block? Never mind. You came in clutch. Let me get the back throw. Now what's your open ball for this? <gasps> that's your okay. All right, no meter, old fashioned way. Mano y mano. The reaction, but not gonna be death, is it? Nah, for sure. Uh, Was it close enough? Yeah, oh, hourglass of rain. I'm sorry. How are you chilling? Hourglass of rain definitely has been. You know, it seems that there's gonna be the theme of tonight, right? You know, who at who that who adapts first, right? And then how they adapt. It's not even necessarily if you adapt or not. You know, are you going to have the right response when it is when it does come to your time to response, right? So, Hourglass of Rain has been doing a great job of just getting those optimal punishes on the cameo calls, on the Molina calls. You know, making sure that they wait out the Kung Lao hat, which is very important because that's the whole thing about that Kung Lao ambush. You got to respect it at all times. And honestly, it's a thing you got to watch out for, especially. So yeah, it's a, uh, huh. it's definitely an experience that you have to look out for. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Hourglass had it was that first game. It was like you know, what, let me let me sit up real quick. You know, let me let me lock in. And that's what we've been seeing thus far. Oh, charging up Sonic X. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, that was punch was so good. Hey, you just call wasn't blocking. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, the second burst was so good. The overhead? Are you working on a flawless? Never mind. The armor through. Yeah, Blizzard is trying their best to like find a way in, right? But again, Hourglass of Rain doing a really good job of maintaining control for the majority of the match. Now Blizzard still coming through, still coming strong, gets the grab. Gets the grab. That's what you do off of it. All gets back on with his own. Yeah, Blizzard's been trying to um like try to get in that strike throw game, but that oh my god, that new strike is so good. But it's just been so unfortunate that he hasn't been able to get shimmied off that back three anymore. So he's been trying to resort to throws, but is it too little too late? We're gonna find out. Oh, gets Cliff. Hold on. I'm glad we're really pressing. Not the block button, apparently. Oh, wait. You're checking those, though. Oh, beautiful pose. Oh, bro, that was a reaction, but did not get the size afterwards. Had to respect the hat. Oh, sweet, do it again. Just, okay, never mind. You just pressing buttons. I love, you love to see it. You know, buttons are meant to be pressed. I feel you on that one. Mm. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. That's it. Our glass of rain with the brutal two. Yeah, let me, you, you killed me in front of my mama. We had a run back real quick. He reset the timeline so I could do this again. Bird with the Johnny piece. Johnny who though? I didn't peep. Oh, Johnny. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, so uh, everybody's, uh, <clears throat> you know, everybody's favorite screw up, good old Johnny, right? You love him, you hate him. Either way, you're talking about him. Mr. Aqua coming through with the rain play. For those of you that have been uh, checking out his stream, you know he's been working super hard getting that rain Motaro combination going. So glad to see Motaro back into the fray. Not enough play with that with that cameo, in my opinion. I think that cameo is a lot to offer. Yes, it definitely does. But people were just, you know, in this game where you're getting consistently hit for, you know, 500, it's not worth it to lose that 50 because it definitely adds up quite a bit. But, oh my god, we're also adding up quite a bit as he throws. Oh, that's yeah, plus. Gonna, yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. <gasps> Rain definitely has the ability to keep Johnny out. But in addition, it also has the ability to keep Johnny still. You know, having, uh, like you saw earlier, those mix ups, right, with the double overhead. Having the uh, projectile shield with the water bubble, bubble there. Mmm, oh. Melina Ball Roll coming through. Mataro couldn't Rain save him in time. But Akmel. He definitely looked for that um that comeback right there. Yeah, good down three there. Oh, the poles. Wait, these cancels really coming through. That's plus. Almost got a conversion for wait a second. The poke's coming through and he's going in. You gotta watch out for a stagger into the Molina for wait a second switches to Jade. And then at the right time too, that's six seconds. Yeah, that is the good thing about the chameleon uh, assist, right? It always ensures that you have something to help you out in the projectile war. So Big Bird utilizing that fact, making sure. Ooh, oh my gosh, the sauce, but it was too much dip so on the ship. So close, so close. Wait, that, I thought it disappeared on hit. Oh, you almost got to hit the uh, cameo. That's my apologies. Oh, Aqua is one hit. It's dying. Mr. Aqua, you got to block. Yeah, that sweet spot, so to speak, right? Ooh, you use the Katana fan lift to get out of the way. And remember, folks, that fan lift is an ambush assist, which means it can come out at any moment. So any strain can turn into something else. Unfortunately, Aqua, that man Big Bird, great awareness to use the fan lift in that moment to get himself out that pressure and then go right back in, checking Mr. Aqua with the knee. And unfortunately, it's going to cost him his life. But, hey, like you said, like Jackal has said, guys, this is a first of three, so got plenty of time to adjust here. Yeah, definitely. So, again, you know, Johnny is Johnny. We all know how he goes. We all know how he functions. However, Rain is one of those characters that, again, just like Tanya from earlier, we haven't seen too much of. We haven't seen too much of Denny and Love, you know, so to speak. Well, this tournament we have, right, in the past... Four, in the past three matches, we have had three Adenians. We have had Rain, Melina, and uh, Baraka. Because Baraka is technically Adenian in this timeline, right? Yeah, that's crazy to even think about. He is technically Adenian. And man, the whole, just the whole timeline thing has just been changed so much when you think about it. Because you have all these characters with new lore, but then at the same time, you can go about old lore too because of the infinite timeline. Lore. So it's, it's just a lot of things you can think about when it comes to lore. So yes. wait a second, let's roll. Jesus, how many hits? Yeah, and the, you know, one of the more understated things about the Jade Pro in particular is that it gives a lot of time for the cameo to come back, right? Mm, so much time for it gets set up pressure too, man. This man is jumping out with the kicks. Gonna be himself safe with him. Charles to teleport to the other side. That's really nice. Oh, he watching them toes though. Yeah, and if you can notice, folks, you know, Rain does indeed have cancels of his own, so. Aquaman definitely doing a great job there of just, you know, trying to keep that pressure going. Uses the low shot to catch Big Bird pushing the button. And double knives with the $45.50 contribution. Thank you for that. Putting us well over our $100 mark. Remember, folks, make sure that you are hitting that Macharino. You do not have to, you know, if you don't have the funds to uh, make a direct contribution, don't fret. Those coupon codes are still live and still active, and the sponsor quests are also there as well to give yourself a little bit of a boost. Make sure that you're utilizing that link. How about Whoa. these hard working players? That throw was so far away. What the hell? Aqua oh, didn't get the whip punish on the shadow kick. It's one of those unfortunate situations, right? Because you're not even sure if it did hit or if it will. You're like, whoa, I made it out of that? Oh, yeah. It's the overhead, please. Another low shot. Trying to come through, but get caught by the glade. Oh, it's coming through again. The overhead not watching his head is Mr. Aqua, and this is looking really bad for him right now. All right, next touch can kill for Johnny here. So Aqua doing a very good job just staying the course, staying in the pocket. Oh, Delays man. on the parry attempt. Very, very good awareness there from Aqua. Oh, 
right, all right, all right. Getting a little bit of moisture in there. You know, it's cold and dry outside, so you got to you gotta get a little wet. Get some of that dirt off, some of that Johnny dirt. Man, he's definitely trying to wash his feet, but that man's too dirty for it. You know, he got the dizzy knee and all that. He got too much stuff that he needs to be cleaned off, man. By clean, I mean nerf. Get him out of here. Will grab you and not let go. You sure? I'm pretty slippery when wet. Gosh. I wonder. I wonder just how long, how many voice actors, like how many VA sessions did they run just for Johnny? Because he has yeah. to have a he has a one-liner for everything. Literally everything, every situation you can think of. Did you guys know that Johnny, you guys rarely see it. But when he goes for a throw in this game and it whiffs, if you let the animation play out, he'll actually look back and forth to check if anybody saw him with it. <laughs> it's really hilarious. It's yeah. on my Twitter. Yeah, Johnny's great. And then the oh. whole, you know, when he does land the throw, he goes in the back and records it with his phone. Man, that's hilarious, brother. And then throws the phone like, eh, hey, I'll buy it. I back up my data. He's okay. gonna get another one anyway. Oh, wake gets to teleport to the other side. Tries to wash off the toes, but he doesn't get it. The throw is gonna come through. Shows off the foot. Are you gonna wake up with armor? He tries to wake up with something, but it got a big K counter hit, and that man's down around. Yeah, so uh, one to one, folks, utilizing the Motaro shield there. Good stuff. You know, the Motaro pick is a very, very solid shell for Rain, right? Because Rain already has projectiles of his own however his straightforward projectile game is not the strongest it's there but it's you know it's not like the best thing that you can do a lot of times you see rain players using the puddle using the uh the thunder but the straightforward projectile game is not used is not utilized that often Motaro, however gives you a little bit more flexibility in that regard the triple tail shot plus on block launches Gives you the opportunity for new mix-ups, right? And Mr. Aquaman knows this, taking advantage to get that round. Mm -hmm. Oh, waking up the armor, teleports the other side of the glade coming back. Oh my God, it did. Did y'all see it? It made a brief cameo for real that time. Throws yep, out the fan. Oh, breaks up with the armor though. Who goes for it? But no, that was oh, definitely supposed down, to be Shadow Kick. Down. I mean, that was a downtown one indeed. Oh my god, if he got a conversion off that, that would have been ridiculous. But the anti air coming out of Big Bird gonna maximize on the damage, and Aqua is not looking too good for you. The knee. Yeah, the knee gotta be careful with that 4 3 there. Was that 4 4 the knee? I can't remember. It's 4 3. Yeah. He's got like five different advancing buttons. Yeah, that 4 that 4, four <laughs> is that overhead move you saw. Yeah, 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 there we yeah. go. All right, so here we go, folks. 2-1, Big Bird. Chugging along here. And then, you know, we always say it over here, folks. You know, some of these scores, may you, you see them, right? But there's definitely more to the story. It's not just about what's on the score. It's about what happens sometimes. And if you can see here, right, there's a lot of back and forth action going on right now. Mr. Aquaman is definitely getting things going. However, Big Bird is always ready, constantly matching Mr. Aqua for everything that he's got. Very much a tug of war going on right now. For this Earth Definitely so. Aqua, we're going to see what you can do to lock in right now. You know, you you outside, it's cold out, but you got the rain to work with you. But Johnny, he got the mink Kono, and it's looking kind of, he can look kind of fresh with that thing. You see him? He's he, he looking mighty comfortable. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is probably the, this and MK9 Johnny are some of my favorite Johnny, Johnny design. Yes. I go a lot though, Jack. Like when it comes to like Johnny, like lore wise, his his mature version of MKX MK11 was really growing on me. I will say that. Yeah, for sure. You know, like again, he's he's the lovable idiot for yeah. for lack of a better term, right? And you you can't help but but you can't help but uh, even if you don't like him, right? You love to hate him. You just love, you love to make fun of him, right? Like you yeah. hear the crowd, they're laughing and all that good stuff. No matter what you're, no matter what he's doing, it's entertaining. Always poking the special is going to do it though. The split spot. Whoa, wait, get the tentacles out of here. We ain't watching that right now, please. Gosh. Somebody must have uh, forgot to give the men with a Quan Chi over there. Man. And Minty with the $15 donation to the Macharino. Let's go, folks. We are chugging along. Definitely uh, getting that Macharino caught up. Remember, folks, those coupon codes are still available. We see you redeeming them in the chat, on the stream, everywhere in between. Appreciate you as well. Make sure that you're typing exclamation point Macharino in the chat to keep it going. 
We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Oh my gosh, that down three. Blessing this man's head again. Yo, can you block the cabeza? He's getting blessed. He's finishing out the prayer too. Oh my oh, god. I love that setup into the tail blast. I thought this man was amazed. He looking like a priest. Look at these prayers. They're coming through. He's dead. All right, here we go. One of the highest damaging fatal blows in the game. This guy Otara right. already yeah. doing a healthy chunk of damage, but Rain by himself. This part right here. Oh, that definitely hurts for sure. Game five situation between Mr. Aqua and Big Bird. This man Aqua does not want to go down without a fight. He is showing y'all why the Rain and the Motaro is a pick you might be sleeping on. Life on Leo with the $2 contribution. Thank you so much. Appreciate everybody who is helping out with the Macharino. Keep it going, folks. I want to see that red pop up all night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, folks, it's not just about the coupon codes. Make sure you're utilizing the sponsor quest as well. If you look a little bit to the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see action that say follow, retweet, subscribe. Things that you already do in your day-to-day -day digital lives. You might just need to retweet a tweet on Twitter. You might need to follow somebody on Twitch. You might need to subscribe to a YouTube. Very simple stuff. Hit one, any one of those buttons to make a, an additional contribution to the pot. It doesn't just stop at the coupon code, so make sure you're checking those out as well. Mm, goes for the low, and that right there, that was actually really scary because that man actually tried to use the uh, fan lift to save his ass, but it, of course he did not work the Shadow Clippers with him, but Jay comes through this time. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Cajones, none of them. You don't have Wait, the armor right. there. Ooh, good punish there on the wake up. It's just all this shit. Oh my gosh. And another raindrop from the. Oh, this man, Aqua. is cooking, okay? And that was a good change of pace there from Aqua, right? You know, not really giving Johnny what they want, which is a close quarters fight. Yeah, already just playing that lane game, you know, the spacing game, keeping out of the way, saving the meter from when you need it. Ooh, beautiful armor two teleports to the other side. Big jump. Watch the defeat again. Man, Johnny, your toes. Like, I'm, I know them crocodiles uh, skins are squeaky clean by now. They have to be. But a big confirm. Hold on. Oh, wakes up on armor right, again. Oh, All right, here we bird. go. Big Bird's last chance. Mr. Aqua on set point here. Next hit should kill. Oh, did he just want fatal? Oh, never mind. And that's going to be a punish. Aqua, just throwing out the port. Okay, just throwing out the portals into the Motaro. You love to see it. Yo, Aqua taking it three to two, weathering the storm at the being down two one. Well, it's free to enter. Might as well, you know, give yourself a shot. Yeah, absolutely. Remember, folks, these are free to enter, so you know, there's no, you know, no, no loss, no, no risk. Just come through and push some buttons with us. We love pressing buttons. I know Kenshi does love versus buttons. Kenshi. Pretty much gonna be uh, Ludi's job to uh, keep Kenshi out as much as they possibly can because Kenshi is one of those characters that's extremely effective at keeping you from playing the game. Why? Because they got someone else playing it for them. You see Sento in the background charging up. So Ludi's doing a good job of making sure that he stays in the back. Am I seeing Kenshi with the op? This is insane work right now. He is playing with Striker. I never thought I'd see the day, but Striker and Kenshi. Definitely an interesting call, and definitely gonna get grenades up as much as possible so he can call out Sento safety. We're gonna see what Zupo does, but this man Ludi, he just knows. And that was a great block there from Zupo, uh, you know, blocking the 50-50 uh, with the hat and the jump in. It's a tough block there. Ooh, and a good, good, yeah, good foresight there, Ludi seeing the gap. One of those times where you got to make sure that you're ready because you get one chance to get out of those setups. If you don't take it, you're going to be holding the block button for a lot longer. And it's going to look like an issue indeed, but the fourth throw is going to do a lot of damage at the Zupa. Going to get chased down. Thought the flawless block was a clean hit. Going to bless up real quick. Yeah, let me get the blue guy out real quick. If you guys know, this is the blue man group. We're going to make it big sponsored by Sindel. You might see some in just a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a fatal immediately. Yeah, it's one of those things with puppet characters, right? You can hit the puppet or the character to put them in the background, but that's kind of part of the game plan for that person using them, right? They want you to try to hit them so they can capitalize on you taking your turn too early. In other words, <laughs> you activated my trap guard. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and now time to lose all your health points, all your life points. Man. Using that run to get past the projectile there, smart stuff. Smart stuff indeed. Oh, the overhead coming through the home. Oh, get shim by the very last hit. Never thought I'd see today. Oh, wait a second. She's throwing that synthetic weave. It's too powerful. Golly. 
Yeah, that's smart stuff from Ludi, right? You're not really staying in there too long because any mistake can turn into a very bad time if uh, Kenshi gets his, gets his stuff started. Did she float over that? Oh my gosh, that confirm was so good. Tried to back dash away, but no, the homie got me, okay? This is my uncle. And as you saw earlier, right? Ludi used that armor to try to get through the ghost and it used and it worked the last time, but Zupa making a note of that understood that Ludi is aware, so took that knowledge and turned it against him. Very uh you know, very uh solid stuff. Yo, mint with the twenty-five don't know W production. What the heck? What are you doing out there? We had ninety-eight dollars. Thank you so much. There we go, folks. You heard it there. Two dollars away from one hundred. We got 400 people in the chat right now. Make sure you're utilizing those coupon codes. Each coupon code is 25 cents a piece. That is eight people. Pretty sure we can find eight out of 406 to utilize those coupon codes. And then also, if you have used the coupon code already, you can still contribute to the match arena using those sponsor quests. Might as well help us for the first time. But man, Epic Super Strike and First Blood. And he's been trying to say, you know what? I am the best. You know, uh, Kenshi in Chicago. That's what he wants to try to prove right now. All right, well, Ludi trying to do their good, do their best to just say that you're just gonna be a dead Kenshi on the block. Man, it can't say that when you can jump out of your uncle. Wait a second, you're dropping the combos, but he's been baiting out the overhead stiletto flip instantly. You gotta get a new pair from DSW because those not working. All right. All right, those working. Meter running low. He got the Valentinos that time, Jack. Are we backing up? Let's up. Oh my god. Ooh, is that it? No way you're dead, right? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> no, you died. That's crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> you died from a blind man throwing his sword and just wishing it hit you and it did. That sucks, brother. Underestimate him at your peril. Ooh, Epic Zupa. Epic Zupa. I want to say Zuka so bad. <laughs> Zuka. Epic Zuka. Right? Epic Zuka. Oh my god, that area was so clean. Yo, Luddy, you were just ready for that, huh? Clean knockdown. You definitely see signs of a little frustration coming out of Luddy, but hey, he's locking in right now. This corner combo is looking immaculate. She's waving the hair back and forth, setting up another half. Art the blockable? No, he gets shim. Now he's being screamed at. It's already bad enough you can't see. Now you can't hear. You're dead. Yeah, and that's good stuff there. Ludi also making adaptations of their own, making some baits that got them that corner positioning. Guys, grab him. Fuck him. And right back to your rabbit hole? That's crazy. Talk about a hit and run. Mm. Oh, speaking of assists, the officer's trying to see some assists, but no, it's not going to work out for you, my guy. Yeah, <laughs> Jackal, you help, him. help him. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want no parts. You want some of this two old man? No. He can jump. Wooshi. The Academy helped this man. This combo not over. Oh my this God. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 the front and the back tonight. Oh my God. Double sided action as uh, Ludi gets game number two, evening up the score one to one. Ludi Sindel has been fairly consistent across the board in each of these brackets. You know, a regular here at TNS. You've seen it time and time again. Consistent top eight place, consistent top, consistent top eight finisher. Show me the skills. Definitely uh, going to see what happens here. Remember, folks, this is just for top 16. We're not even in top eight yet. This is just to get a chance. So he says, what's a fuzzy? A fuzzy is basically when you try to um, block a, overhead, a quick overhead low mix up as quickly as possible. Usually, you, if you lab it, you know which option comes out first. So you try to block the option that's the fastest first before you go for the other one. Yeah, essentially trying to cover your bases there. Hedge your bets, hedge your bets, so to speak, if you're uh, into that sort of thing. Brother, this man does not hold the block button. I guess I'll strike her out, out again to use the taser to try to help him out. Man, he's not doing much. He only has so many grenades. No, man, he got infinite amount of that. What am I talking about? All right, now this is where things start to get a little weird, right? Because it's oftentimes we've seen people who are in the health lead often lose them because you're like trying your best to just be, you know, very calm and collected. They're gonna do some crazy stuff. But the thing about being about doing crazy stuff is you're not really knowing what's gonna come. So Zupa was definitely trying to get something started there, but Ludi staying in the course, staying in the pocket. 
Oh my goodness, and Stan screaming in this man's ear. He's got a concert and the decibel levels is too high. The Apple Watch saying, yo, get out of here, bro. You gotta know you can't hear a thing. Actually, what am I talking about? He can't see what that says. All right, here we go. We got the homie coming out. The homie ain't doing much right now. He's just starting to taking a knee. Oh no, yeah, it gets Ludi's cramped. doing a great job here. Definitely picking their shots to make sure that they keep Sento contained. He's just a blind man and a sword. This doesn't look good. <gasps> he went over. Oh, brother in Christ! There's no way he got over that. He had the high ground. He Anakin. Now he snapped and dead. Oh my God. There's no way. I love how quick the brutality is. Right? It's just like you're done. <laughs> it's over. Just quite literally, just boom, out of there. I think this is definitely one of the uh this is probably the best rendition of Sindel in terms of showcasing her power, right? Because the thing about Sindel in the lore, no matter what timeline you visit, is that she's always been this immensely powerful being, right? And to whomever she lends her aid to, they are pretty much eat. They're they're good to go. But you never really see too much of her. Like you see her fight a little bit. MK9 did a great job of that as well, right? Which yes. she basically bodied like the entire she Avengers. Everybody. Right? <laughs> Single-handedly, left no crumbs as a, as a, uh, kids nowadays say. Yeah, but you know you don't see that often, and now we get to see it in game as well. And one of the things that I like to point out that especially showcases this is her ability to essentially control your cameo. She has the ability to take over the cameo, right? She can either re she can either call the call ability that allows her own cameo meter to refill at a higher rate. Or she can make it to where your cameo, if you choose to pull them out, will actually work against you. Which is a, a very interesting tactic indeed, but Ludi doesn't seem to really need that at this moment. All right, he's chilling. Hey, you know, there's one thing you, uh, you know, other thing too about that too? She got the um, the snap that counters someone's breaker. And the only Sindel I've only seen use it consistently in tournament is actually Ludi. Yeah, Ludi's definitely in tune with this character, right? It's Sindel specialist, if you will. Oh my gosh, big jump. Oh, this ain't looking too good. That that is good a right healthy now, punish. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt. Got a bar if you want to use it. Tongue loud coming. What's for breakfast? Oh yeah, oh. they called mix. And guess what? Uh, you didn't... Uh, you, you know uh, what happened right here? I, I understood what happened. Epic Zupa did not use the PTG method. That's what it was. PTG? Well, we're gonna find out sooner or later, right? So, uh... We got Kung Lao and Chameleon. Now, Mighty Unjust okay. is no strength to TNS as well. Probably one of the most decorated MK players in TNS right now has managed to make top eight, actually top three with several characters. And you know, if it's a DLC character, they got it. They're going to do it that day. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna be mixing. You know, this is the 41 time ESL champ. He definitely got some words for anybody that has anything to say to him, you know. But Hourglass definitely look like they got a speech ready. Oh my gosh. Striking first blood. All right, Hourglass of Rain doing a great job taking that first round there. However, Mighty Unjust is not unfamiliar here. Again, ready to go. To confirm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, no cojones. Just a throw. Oh, that's All a right, restand we because Melina. Plus. Massive plus frames. Oh, interrupts the J call. That's how you stop that. Look at the damage on this Jackal into a setup. It's not fun. Oh my god. Sweep again. Who gets the back throw? Hold on. But you're so lucky to have a good time to that combo. Oh, you got your head blessed. You're dead. Uh, 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 you're actually uh, dead. Uh, uh. Right. Just do it way how we gotta do it. Armor? No. Just patience. Yeah, Melina, Melina cam uh, cameo live right now for Mighty Unjust. Taking advantage of that restand. Jade now on the field. And the most damaging for us, though, that she has. Oh, yeah. I'll that down for Blocks. The full string down poke into Molina. Oh, and making waste three bars. If this game having break could be three bars is so expensive. Try to go for a block away a second, gets a back throw instead. 
Luckily, he still, once again, does not have Katana. And that conversion was so good on Just. What the hell? Yeah, very healthy damage there. Finding on Just getting the safe jump set up. You got to respect that. That is the Johnny special. This man, this just Jay can This um, community can was so good, man. This makes the game so interesting. Oh, yeah, for sure, right? Because we're pretty much knocking on on the marble door at this moment right with being in a an assist fighter so this is my mix up exactly and chameleon i feel is the embodiment of of that that concept having so much versatility with having access to not one not two but four people tend to forget there is a fourth cameo assist with the character and that is the uh the crystalline form yeah, that reduces the damage of the next hit in half so you have access to that as well as the unique attacks that each of the different versions offers right you have the jay glaive you have the melina ball you have the katana fans you have fan lift you have the jade glow right to give yourself full projectile immunity you have the melina size that we saw earlier that gives you unprecedented levels of combo freedom when it comes to getting those launchers honestly it just helps out no matter what if you guys didn't know like it, it's, it's just a beautiful sight this man, this man, this woman, Chameleon, she just does everything. For you. And honestly, like I said, it's a breath of fresh air when it comes to cameo side of things because she can just do everything so well, and she's so damn fun. Yeah, definitely a breath of fresh air, so to speak, right from the usual suspects, the Kung Laos, the Strikers, the Kanos. Wait, what? <laughs> Kanos. You don't see Kano too often, but yeah, that man is definitely a menace in society. But you know what's crazy? I actually don't mind. He thought the Glaive was coming back. He, I actually don't mind. Um, yeah, definitely with the recent adjustments, it's a lot less of knock. Even before though. that, the plus frames wasn't too bad. I, I might be talking too much right now because this man is definitely getting to work right now. Oh no. What's the final hit looking like? Unjust. Caught jumping in a ball roll is going to go for the knees. And again, that stage size, right? You know, hourglass brain understanding that. They didn't have to do anything in that situation. They had all the time, all the room in the world. Just back up and wait for it. You know, just let the opportunity come to you. Mm -hmm. Opportunity is always in itself. Remember, guys, patience is always rewarded with an opportunity. Yes, defense wins games. Mighty Unjust, however, trying to uh, get the party started. Hourglass has slowed this match up tremendously by going for the zoning and more Kung Lao hats, but wait a second, Unjust trying to edge his way in and gets caught by the overhead. Now watch your dome, now you're going to be taken for a ride, literally, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's Mighty Unjust trying to take advantage of the uh, sense of urgency that showed up in Hourglass, right? Understanding that full star power means a full chunk of damage if they get the, the opener that they need. So Hourglass, understanding that, making sure that they keep Mighty Unjust contained not allowing them to take advantage of that fact. Good stuff, good stuff. We have got a lot of back and forth action tonight, y'all. Again, we, we told you from the jump, this is going to be hell on earth. There's gonna be a lot of destruction on the screen, a lot of things going right, and a lot of things going wrong. And right now, Mighty Unjust, kind of on the back pedal here. Yeah, that skill gap. Like I said, closing ever so much. Okay. Hourglass Rain being 17 years <laughs> old, young player. Oh, yeah, player. and that's usually how it goes, right? We have seen this story time and time again. Even folks as young as 13, right? So, yeah. you know, it's just kind of how it goes. You said it yourself, that skill gap forever closing. Not the, uh, it's not your daddy's bracket no more. Definitely not. It's everyone's bracket right now. But wait a second. Is Johnny getting stabbed in his head in his own house? You got to defend your home, brother. You got a home invader from our world at that, too. Get him out. Oh. Wait a minute. Ooh, oh, gets the opener. Coming. Good flawless blocks there. Press the batons. Ooh. All right, a little bit of a delay there, trying to catch a button. Mighty adjust. Taking what is given. Understanding that Hourglass is going to wait. Not really going to take too many liberties there. So as the Johnny player, that's kind of what you want, right? Because that is conditioning. But what is conditioning when you have such godlike reflexes? Hourglass with the instant air ball, which is way tougher to do in this time around. Tiger knee inputs not as effective as they used to be. So 
That's good stuff there on Hourglass, having the execution to pull that off. Man, the jump back into instant ball roll. Oh my gosh, the parry through, and that should be death. He's gonna spin Fatal Secure the deal, even with the scaling. Kung Lao Hat is gonna do a massive amount of damage. This might is over with. My God, take it to the cleaners. No, actually, no, take it to the. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 TMZ? Hey, where you come from? Oh my God. Yeah, I agree. Oh, and what a choice there of a response from Hourglass. Being able to negate the Kung Lao hat. It's just oh, a no. Oh, gets hot. If you guys do not know, that Melina stand three because she's on a different plane when she uh, does the cartwheel. She can dodge a hat. A Lao hat coming to you and any little projectile, actually, I think. Oh, right, try to go over it again. To the too early. The trade? That was an odd one. Yeah, try to get a pick up there, but no dice. Ooh, All right, here we go. Through. I just Clear fully processed that I just actually switched to Kung Lao Cameo, by the way. You know, by fire with fire. Yeah. Understandable. And the Kung Lao assist is definitely very useful for Johnny because Johnny having so many overhead style strings and normals can definitely make things a, a bit more of a, of a nuisance with the uh, Kung Lao hat being mm, Big confirm off that forward too. And man, Hourglass not trying to go down without a fight. I'm just making the adjustments with the Kung Lao hat. However, Hourglass has just really been down, jumped back into the ball roll. has been doing so much rope and the ball roll from downtown. Speaking of love, Jackal, Jesus. And again, this is pretty much uh, Hourglass's uh, bread and butter, right? Just being able to maintain that sweet spot that they love. Being in that mid-range where they're able to uh, keep an eye on Johnny, so to speak. However, this is now where Johnny starts to shine. That up-close range where he can utilize his most dangerous mix-ups, the pressure, the staggers. Mm. Waiting for that Kung Lao hat. Gets hit. And the overhead coming through. Wait a second. It looks like this man Hourglass might go up two to one. The, oh my God! The hack actually saved him, but catching that man unjust in the toe. Hourglass up two one, taking one in Johnny's own house. Bro, she at your crib. She telling you get the U-Haul truck and move out. This is my territory. That's crazy. Couldn't be me though. Couldn't be me. Right, here we go, going back to the character select screen. Giving ourselves a bit of a time to uh, to breathe. Ugh, why did I agree to let your film crew in the palace? Because deep down, you know you want to be in showbiz. This man, Johnny, only think about making money, bro. You already lost millions. Hey, but you know, never say die, right? There's always a comeback right around the corner. And if there's anybody who knows about coming back from the dead, it's Johnny. You ain't lying about it. Illinois Jones, good old Johnny. <laughs> oh my gosh, down one to sweep. Oh my gosh, she's, she's mixing. Yeah, and Hourglass again, you know, playing that, that poke game that Melina's always excelled at, just maintaining the control here, not overly committing. Exactly, using the Kung Lao hat to set things up for them. He's dead. Chip is the issue, my goodness. Hourglass of Rain looks to send Mighty Unjust to the loser side. Three to one Unjust. I'm gonna need you to wake up, kid. All right, but three bars for Johnny definitely uh, says uh, definitely spells a good time for sure. All right, a little bit of a uh, neutral play here. A little bit of back and forth. Oh my gosh, the overhead coming through. Just a slow down pace comes out of Hourglass He's trying to chase this man. Wait, imagine trying to chase a Tarkadic woman. I really hate to see it. This man's trying to really. Oh, the way he has to punish. Wait a second. Give me the change. Give me what he needed. Trying to look at the way in. No armor's yeah, through. Uh, knowing the hat was coming around. Mm. The blocks. Oh, gets the back throw. This ain't looking too good. Gonna get fatal, though. That's plus. Chase down. Oh, oh just jumping. You got a conversion. Where are you going? Really All right, good. there it is. Mm. Punish and mighty unjust being able to hang on to the resources for that one. Damn, I'm 
Yeah. Remember that Balrog was coming and said, yo, I know you want to do YOLO right now instead of win. I ain't gonna let it happen. Okay, you did it again? Okay, you never mind. Hourglass doesn't care and I respect that. You know why? Because the moment you become conditioned, you lose. So sometimes you just gotta do it. Yeah, for sure, right? And that's that mental stack that people like to refer to, right? Again, you can't allow the opponent to discourage you. Now, that doesn't mean do the same thing over and over, right? But it definitely means that you got to be willing to take your turn. Or at the very least, you know, try to enforce something. You, know, you can't just let them do what they want. It's not looking too good right now for Unjust. That's plus and goes for the score three. Gets the back throw instead. I'm very surprised that down one being minus 10. That four three being nine frames. I thought that was going to be a punish, but it was not. But gets caught. And that is not going to do it. It's going to get Breaker. One last chance. Goes for. Oh, no way. Oh, this dude. Oh, my gosh. Bring it. <laughs> Brother, brother, how did you do that? And a million dollar smile to match the comeback. Mighty Unjust stays alive. We got another game five, folks. Game five after game five. Again, be ready for a showdown. This bracket is no slouch. Not the player, the bracket. The entire bracket is filled with killers, folks. And right now you're seeing it only on TNS. This is again, this is just top 16. Okay. I'll this is even this isn't even, isn't even in the door. This is just the vibe check. My god. You guys I need y'all to just lock in. This is game five situation between these two right now to find who is going into that top eight, and they both want it bad. Appreciate everyone that's been donating to the match. You know, you guys still can. The codes are gone, but you can donate to your wallets if you want to to raise uh, money for these beautiful players that's been doing on quite a show. We're going to end it off in the laboratory trying to figure out why Melina changed as Johnny, and he's going to say, you know what? I just got to beat it out of her. Oh my God. All right. Remember, folks, even if you didn't get an opportunity to utilize the uh, the code, you can still donate to the pot for free using the sponsor quest. Don't ignore them. The sponsor quests often give you opportunities to contribute more than what the coupon code would offer. So definitely take a look at them. And right now, take a look at this combo as Mighty Unjust hits him with a healthy 356. Oh, Oof. the need, the in and out move, the crossover. This man unjust. The mighty adjustment is happening as we speak, but wait a second, immediate teleport? Let me find out. Restand. Oh my god, it was cheap. I feel like as quickly as that round started, it's over. Jesus! Craziness. Absolute craziness. Oh, well, final round. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, folks. Final, final round. Here we are. Back at it again. Mighty Unjust versus Hourglass of Rain. Oh, this is Anybody's back. game gets the block. Hourglass putting themselves in the corner. Mighty Unjust right back. The parry coming in. Plus, we pushing the full screen. Oh, tried to duck, but the 2 1 2 is too fast. Three bars is gone. And wait a second. The lead is now in Unjust favor. He has the pressure, he has the meter, and he has the life. Oh, we jumping back, though. We playing platformers. We thought we was playing MK? Nah. Here we go. Beautiful challenge and immediate break. Unjust did not want to see the setup after that teleports, but you had to worry about the other Lao hat. Unjust said, you got to come to me. Let me throw off the glasses. Oh, I'm hyped up. You see that full star meter? Oh, oh no. You're going to pay too. for that. You want the spotlight. You got it. Oh, that was chunky. It was chunky and D goes for the stagger into the low. Big whiffs, and that's gonna do it. Unjust is going to fall to our glass of rain three to two and take off the man chin while he at it. Oh, you wanted to kiss? Yeah, you out of there, bro. Told you it's the Denny of Night. They must have had a meeting. You know, because if, if you if you recall right on Twitter, the Denny and Posse is always the most toxic. And I'm gonna say that on camera, on stream. Y'all know the deal. Right. How many times? How many You're a times good one, boy. were Ed Boone's mentions just flooded with tweets you, about Molina? You a good one, boy. How, because I ain't, how, I ain't trying to get no smoke times, from them. How many? Exactly. These people I'm will come cool. find you. Yeah, I'm good on it. You, 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 go ahead. You, you can fight that war by yourself, Jack. I'm gonna focus on the. Oh no, they know what it is. They already know. They they wear like a badge of honor. Yeah, that's why you don't oh, mess do. with us. 
Nobody I'm messes with Denny. Bro, this man just down to the queen. That's crazy, bro. Oh yeah, I would never. Hey, listen, you gotta pick your battles sometimes, Fruity. You gotta pick your battles. <laughs> oh, and who's that I see in the background? Hmm, how about that? <laughs> oh my gosh, Kano I'm good at this, brother. I does this. I know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm just saying. Every character in the game is scary. I'm just saying, Evo. My schedule this summer is very free. You might want to holler at your boy. But uh, anyway, we're going to holler at this corner pressure right now. It's pure, pretty much going business as usual, making sure they make quick work of this and they'll get right up in there. What is fear? I don't know this word. This is not a part of my vocabulary. That man's dead. That man just died so easy from getting. You know what's crazy, Jackal? Imagine paying $70 for this game. In some cases, 110 $70 for a controller. Turn on the PlayStation. You're holding the block button. Couldn't be me pressing the damn button. Oh, yeah, definitely couldn't be me. I did not pay all this money to sit here and block. But Pure said that is what exactly what you are going to do. I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you don't. The bottom line is it's going to happen. Like, brother in Christ, that man was playing a blocking simulator. As um, Damascus likes to say, if you want to put, you want to, you want to hold some blocks, go play Tetris, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. And we're going with the switch immediately with the Katana Kung Lao play. We're going to get ourselves a little bit more uh, on the ground mobility, so to speak, whereas Sindel likes to take to the skies. Vanilla, Sindel, I mean, Galena, excuse me, wrong family member. It's all about heels on the ground. Jumping back and waiting to go to let your fly, but oh my god, Kano, the homie coming in with the two knives with the double knife. Yo, big shout out to double knife in the chat also. Jesus. And the, thing, the interesting thing about this game from a competitive standpoint, right, is that you're, like we like we said earlier, you see the usual suspects, you see the Molina, you see the Gotti, you see the Raiden. But with this being an assist fighter, it is never, it never has to be the same matchup twice. You have all these options you can utilize, check into. For example, the Chameleon uh, assist, for example, the J-Glow can actually get you out of the pool that Storm Cell utilizes because that's what makes the move so dangerous, that it pulls you in and forces you to take that chip. But by utilizing a cameo that gives you that projectile, that projectile vulnerability, you might actually have some options when it comes to approaching from range. But at this moment, Pure is taking away that range and is just constantly staying in the pocket to whittle Illy's health away. That sucks so bad because that man Illy definitely tried to get away and tried to do a ball roll, but you know, the electric mandate of fields just sucks you in, right? It has a it has a good way to just bring you together and be like, yeah, you gotta you gotta hold this chip. You gotta hold yeah. me. Raiden's all about togetherness. No cane on knife. Bro, he gotta try to get away from this walking battery, but meanwhile he just keep on shopping this man. This is terrible. Yeah, and the thing about oh, that situation no. that you have to flawless block it, right? You mm -hmm. gotta negate that chip as much as you can. Get stuff out of the Molina ball roll. Illy's gotta figure out a way out. Stab him trying to make him a shish kebab, but wait a second, the big armadillo in the background says, yo, can you block your overhead, please? Okay, never mind, you good. You got it. Is that an armadillo in the background? <laughs> Is that an armadillo? Yo, that actually might be. Whose idea was that? Like, That's a big-ass armadillo. I'm sorry. This is what they're going to have. <laughs> you know, the Tarkovs, they're going to have blades, and they're going to have this armadillo that's just their war criminal right there. We're gonna, they're gonna take it and storm outward eventually. I imagine an invasion of just like big armadillos and Tarkadans. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna just oh, have to man, see myself, brother. bro. That is that sounds terrifying, bro. You have ball roll, and then you got the armadillo <laughs> ball roll. Oh, not yeah, not nah, get him out, nah, nah. That's that's <laughs> terrible to think about. I just made a new invasions right there. Yo. You're like going around the map and then like randomly uh, you just hear a rumble and there's a giant armadillo rolling towards you. You got to find a way to get oh out of the way. God. And then, oh, no, no, I really just made a new invasion. Bro. And then you make do you make a little switch to uh freaking Johnny in his uh Illinois Jones skin and he has to run away from the uh, yeah. armadillo rope. I now just, man, hey, hey, you, I, I mean, I mean, you didn't hear from me, but y'all can hide. I have so many questions about your family's dynasty. Now That's not a bad know. theory, Chrono. That's not a bad theory, actually. Chono, sorry, Chrono, Chono. 
All right, so we are going to opt to play the lame game here. A little bit of keep away. Katana with the Scorpion camo, cameo. He went to every Adenia. He went to the queen and then the two daughters. Like, gosh, darn, Ill, you in the bag when it comes to the um, the royal blood, huh? Listen, if we're going to host the tournament, we got to be able to fight in it, right? So, Illy immediately getting up block, but no response there. Mm, so much ship. You know what? You might as well change his main. This this man is, is not pure anymore. Change him to corrupted. He's playing Raiden Kano. All right, change so 95 for your troubles there. Illy, looking like the character change is working out in their favor. However, pure once they get started. Mm, wake up with the armor into the side switch. And oh my God! Look at the sauce try to go for it again, but that's a huge punish, and that is going to be a death. huge. E, brother. Yeah, that is death. For those of you that were wondering if it will it, oh, they oh, opted to not use the bar. No, you just made a horrible mistake. Why did you go for that? Round two, fight. All right, and the new champion. Looking to showcase why they were given that talisman in the first place. Oh. With the up block was so crazy. Why did he go to the other side? You saw that? Yeah. That was a little funky right there. Wait, stiff down three. Yeah. Tell y'all, the stilettos at the uh, the out world, the out world um, rules he just uses is just so, so strong. Oh my gosh, overhead, do it again. Overhead, now go for back throw. Over, okay, never mind, I'm getting oh. mixed. Okay. We all got hit there. Again. Also, I love how in MK1 there are moves that have like a bit of a slowdown to showcase like, no, you can do something here, <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh, you definitely can, but wait a second though. Big whip pun is making him spin three bars. It can be possible that Ellie Silly puts himself under the mic, teleport it out. Oh! It's over. It's over for real. Oh wait, never mind. No! What do you do? It's just chip, right? Chip, right? Yep. Oh, that was so smart, putting the cameo in the front to take the hit so they can get the projectile off. Illy stays alive. Illy stays alive and they're staying clutch. However, you still got to go through. He did not react with that. He did not react with that. This guy. Who's this guy? Pure. All right, round three. Pure on set point. We might have our first bust ass of the night, folks. You just might, but wait a second. Down one into Storm Cell. And a beautiful hit confront coming out of pure once again. The damage is being done. And my goodness, Illy, you got a lot to pick up for. Oh, wait, wake up with the buttons. But the From third hit whips. That sucks. I like how Illy is utilizing the cameo as sort of a, a bit of a insurance policy there. But pure, reading the scenario, understands the assignment, and takes the game set and match 3-2-0. Reno, you hit the retweet, it does it for you, and then you go back to the match Reno and you hang out with us for a little bit longer. And we love you guys hang out. Why? Because this is a great time over here. We're chilling, watching some good old MK1 top eight action winner semis between Jeff Nasty and Koizy. These two have been going at it for a minute. So this is gonna be a great sight to see. First of three, if you guys did not know, and boys, I know these boys do not want to go down to lose bracket. All right, here we go. We're getting things started early. Again, we've been seeing a lot of back and forth action tonight. Just nasty. Got the party started. Koizy showing up. Oh my gosh, that throw in the corner immediately. Oh, here we go. Which way are we going? Oh, block correctly on the overhead, but wait a second, not watch your toes, and that should be the kill. And to see Just Nasty going out with that chameleon, so you see rocking, him rocking with the good old Scorpion or Sub-Zero. Didn't think he would like the chameleon with the smoke, but hey, we see him sauce here. Yeah, and again, we talked that earlier, right? The chameleon cameo gives you so much freedom in so many different scenarios. So for a character like Smoke, who already has so much offensive pressure on their own, it is nice to see utilizing a cameo that gives them that extra, you know, that extra layer, utilizing that fan lift to, to get out of the way. 
my gosh, and speaking of that extra layer, going in that jump into the up block and immediately holding that extra damage because if you guys do not know, if you punish the up block with a throw, it does increase damage and it's actually crazy to think about. But these pack twos is letting rock. My god, poison. Chill out, but the young man can't handle it. Too much dip on the ship. Oh no, she got clipped. And yo, 25, don't know, coming out of clockwork. Thank you so much for holding off your end of the bargain. All right, here we go. Boys, again, things started with the corner carry. I'm going to go ahead and finish off here into a setup. What's for breakfast? For breakfast? Just a Not straight blocking. up overhead. Oh, my goodness. That's what it is. Oh, beautiful air to air. And there's that fourth attack, as you saw there, the crystalline form. We'll try to go plus frames. Oh, that was almost a big whip punish for the synthetic weed coming in with the save. Yo, there's no way Melina came in like that, bro. Oh, yeah. So for those of you that may not be aware, cameos can be wake ups, too. So for every cameo, they do have attacks that count as wake ups. And you see it whenever you see the pun it, the get up, uh, the get up option there. So utilizing that Melina ball road to capitalize off of the this time meaty. But Koizy stay in the course, taking game number one. My goodness, Koizy. Striker first blood in the right way. Now, here's the one thing about Nasty. Nasty oftentimes, immediately at the loss, he just kind of shuffles around in that cameo select screen. Not the character, the cameo. Because he has so many options that he thinks about, I somewhat almost feel like this is his downfall because he's like, man, what do I switch to now? Yeah, and it's, it is kind of like the the it's issue of like smoke. too much we of a good thing, right? Everyone. Once you leave that, it's, it's what do I choose, I right? Because I guess the caveat is that you don't have the most control over the community in a sense. Because while you can manually switch, even when that happens, the cameo is going to switch on its own regardless. So just nasty, opting to go for a more defensive style play with the sub zero cameo, using that ice armor to essentially just disregard the uh, fireball game from Sindel there. Oh, yeah, the uh, fireball game and that little hat means nothing to that man when he has that sub-zero armor on. And now, goes in. Oh my goodness, the conversion is so good. It's a hard knock, the low. Yeah, understanding that Koizy likes to uh, play the keep away game there, but Koizy having some awareness of their own, using the armor to see themselves through that string. Oh, that down for it. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. The cold shoulder coming through. Oh, I love the smoke candles in place to try to build up that bar and immediate air to air. Yeah, just Nasty has shown us quite a bit with this character, right? Koi's showing showing us performance that at uh, ECT all the way up to now. And into the pro comp, too. He actually had a very good place in the pro comp as well. Mm -hmm. I actually think top three, actually, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he actually was, uh, he got third place. What am I talking about? Yeah, definitely uh, worthy of the name for sure. Oh, oh, oh his here fingers. We go. I know that, brother, there's no way, but you missed it. And that's, <gasps> he didn't get the punish on the 2 2. Oh, no, but he gets the armor through. 10 seconds that left on the clock, by the way. That's a crazy situation, right? Brother. You, you find your way through the gap, but it's brother. still, it, you've activated my trap brother. card. <laughs> The trap card was in play indeed. He's jumping back. He doesn't want to deal with the mix, but wait a second. It's frozen. Use the tele Oh, and we are having a ball, folks. Just nasty, giving us just desserts. Gosh, what's the set play here? Oh, armor. We don't care. Never mind. Okay? Oh, from downtown. Getting the sure anti air into the conversions. Poisey. You just knew he wasn't gonna block right here. Oh, tried to outspace and close with the unblock at baited. Like oh. Wait a second. Right, I'm starting Definitely four, uh, top eight action right here tonight, folks. So do the, the teleport cancel in place while you're invisible. Those teleport cancels are easy, by the way. It comes with practice. Oh yeah, absolutely. And just nasty is doing it like it's just another day. It's another day in oh. the office for him and he. Oh. Got to be careful when defending against That's that done. button. That is done, though. My God. Hits him with the backhand and Kung Lao talk to him real quick. Okay, that, that's not talking to him. That's Okay, you know what? You, you do whatever. Hey, guys, well, you, you know, guys know what we're talking going? majority of the time. When he's not running his mouth, Blade is running his, you know, running his edges. Oh, yeah, wait, he's alive. Hold on. I lied. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Ooh. Don't scare us like that. Definitely did scare us, but that down poke came in clutch. My God. 
Oh, got sniped and pull him in too. All right, here we go. That's nasty. Slowly working their way in. No, knew that they wanted to go to the air eventually, but it was a little late. Oh my goodness, try to get out, try to interrupt the teleport there. And beautiful 1-1 one, one to go right through. If you guys do not know, those smoke cancels, although they're hard to do and they uh, look really cool, all of them are negative. There's none of them that's plus, so you can match if you want to. And that's just Koizy just being ready. To call out that back two from that range is just no yeah, I know you're going to do this overhead. Man. Uh-oh, here we go. The snap is in play. Oh, the snap and is now in play. if you look, the cameo meter is taking forever to get up there. That's what we were talking about earlier, about how she is essentially able to turn your cameo against you. She just can the one one to get right through. Oh, the stack oh, going to low. That's frozen. Caught. Trying to get in that meter so we can get a smoke bomb set up, but it's scary right now, Jackal. Yeah, definitely very scary hours right now. That's Let's nasty read. with the corner position. Pops the back up. Waiting for the armor. Try to go for snipe instead. Plus range. Plus. All right. No armor last coming. match. No last mix-up opportunity. Oh, gets the back though. That's it. That's it. What do you do? That's sweet. Yep. That's it. That's man, the snipe at the end too. Koizy with the clutch. The throw at the saw that ice armor was up. He says, "You're not ready for this. You expect me to throw some at you." That's yeah, now it's good stuff there. Yeah, and this is uh that speaks to the just to the progression of the competitive meta, right? In earlier times, we used to see people play in a lot more of an aggressive style, but now you're starting to see a lot more respect being shown, and not only that, just a bit more eclectic and unique options being demonstrated by these characters. For example, Koizy just essentially blowing up every gap that they can find. And just nasty using that knowledge to their advantage as well. As we saw every time, almost every time that Koizy tried to use armor to blow through their string, they had the teleport ready to punish. Ready to punish indeed now. Let's see what we can do off of this now. He has a striker. Like I said, this is the thing about Just Nancy, switching constantly between cameos, not sticking out to one. And I feel like it's kind of downfall coming out here now. Yeah, kind of changed up the game plan so much. Yeah, no two matches are can ever be the same really with the uh, option of changing your cameo here. So Just Nasty trying to find the just right option. Wait a second, throws the grenades at the right time. Now, having those grenades can give big combo confirm and also cover him pretty well when he's wants to throw a smoke bomb into invisibility. However, minus 50 on the health, not as much chance to deal with those mix-ups. You gotta be careful when it comes and to getting hit. And immediately understanding that danger, right? Immediately snaps the fingers and starts reducing that rate of recharge expeditiously for the cameo as you can see there it is taking an excessively long time for just nasty's cameo meter to come back and this is one of the more under understated advantages that sendel has being able to utilize your cameo for her game man delaying that hat right there was so good and now we have koizy on set point over just nasty right now goes to full string the stiletto is overhead it just keeps knocking them the blocks Plus frames. Ooh, Ooh nice and just nasty. One thing to say be said about just nasty, right, is that they're constantly checking for those air options that Koizy keeps wanting to go for, right? Using the up block, using the uh, the teleport to catch them, using the the knife toss, right, to try to catch them for trying to go to the air, trying to force Koizy to play the ground game, so to speak. These back twos are so annoying for right now, but uh, just nasty. Just keep doing it. You might as well. No armor through quite yet. Oh, get hit by the low. Oh Wait, my oh. gosh, and that, oh, I feel like they could have converted that. Oh no, that had to be a mistake, and that's gonna cost you because you went for the anti-air with the Karambe. Oh, you're, yeah, you're done, so. It, it's over. The backhand's gonna seal the deal. Ah. Hey, Jack, you know about the wishbone? What side? Actually, remember, I close your eyes. I I'm a more this. of a banana split man myself. God. Three. Oh, over. Just nasty. That's a statement right there, I must say. How do I deal with this? Yeah, full course meal, so to speak, right? But uh, we're going to see what happens here as we have the Raiden Kano facing off against the Molina Kung Lao pick. 
you know kind of like uh two sides of the same coin here right you know a lot of safety on the strings and then also you know got a bit of a mix up you know some mix up opportunities for sure plenty of safety in the yo mr aqua with the raid thank you so much for playing out at 17th hey you did good my friend we appreciate you stopping through big shout outs yeah. Yeah, appreciate you appreciate you for uh Blessing us with the rain and more more importantly blessing us with the Motaro man Showing us just what it means to explore your options the Stallion was on the screen doing his thing, but you know it was on the screen storm cell this move this excellent move This wonderful move that people love to see Oh gets to interrupt, but no you can get the finish Oh my gosh, the overhead coming through again. Hourglass of rain. Dealing with chip. Nice flaws blocks to get it. But the poke afterwards and another overhead. Oh, that was dangerous. Man, it's so much, man. Round two. What do you do? All right, hourglass. hourglass. Trying to uh, get things started with these staggers here. And good flawless blocks. There you go. Negating that chip damage as much as you can. Definitely trying it's exactly to, what you need. You need to. I guess this walking battery, bro. It's just going to keep on coming at you. And now he has the buff where he takes reduced chip. Are you not watching your toes? Are oh, you so lucky you had three bars to break? However, that's such trying a to wild, get in. That's just a, such a wild deal about that character, right? He just gains reduced chip. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, you've been, oh, you been making him block everything? Oh, yeah, guess what? Now he's taking reduced chip. Wait, what? Right. Sparky, sparky, boom, man, coming through. Oh, my gosh, you over here. I got one of my own. It's not just yeah. you, it's me. All right, now we're pretty much playing uh, Hourglass's game right now. You've seen this time and time again. Once they maintain that health lead, they are going to run with it quite literally as Hourglass takes round number two. All right, all right. We got ourselves a back and forth situation right here. And then immediately one, two, but wait a second. Nice with the coverage from Kano. You didn't know about the Outback Insurance Agency? Oh, yeah. It's coming at you. Oh, you got caught up blocking. Watch your toes. Ooh. Yeah, he ain't, ain't look like, ain't looking too good. He ain't look like he the meanest. Yeah, it's not looking too pretty right now. Battle of the baddest as we uh, move forward. Uh, but sure enough, that's going to be the steal of the deal with the Kano ball. Okay, pure. Showing off what he can do with that storm cell. Everyone loves storm cells. All my homies love Storm Cell. Yeah, it's a great thing. It's a good show. Okay, it's a good show. One of the longest running uh, episodic shows in uh, MK1 history. New season coming very soon. <laughs> and we are back. What is up with the Flesh Pits tonight? We have gotten this stage almost every match. Man, it's just something about someone likes seeing um, dead bodies and Quan Chi's experiments. But, um, yeah. Oh, also, guys, you know, I have to give a shout every time. Shout out to Hourglass and Rain Dad always in chat showing the support. It's just, it's just a wonderful thing to see. That's yeah, fun. definitely love, uh, love when the families get involved, for sure. Oh, no. We don't like when uh, people drop combos, though. It's not in front of the fan, bro. Like, it's, just, it's not a good look. But while we're watching the match here, I need to say this because I'm pretty sure someone is interested in if not already can we get a christmas theme stage for a christmas theme for this stage just just make that 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 motherfucker in the middle of the christmas tree all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> just for the one time you know we wanted it for sure but the mounds of bodies are covered by snow <laughs> you know <laughs> it, would, it would honestly be a good look if, if that can happen next year it would be pretty dead good i will say that yeah all right good flawless blocks there taking away some of that chip and pure just confident in every decision that they make with this character right the overhead is a good sign of that where whoa what the hell i think she just broke up back trying to do that i don't even know what i don't i don't Speaking think of a good sign like man actually insane well another thing that pure is actually doing pretty well he's actually uh mistiming when he's going to do storm sail also just doing away just straight pokes too because he knows hourglass is afraid to press a button and oh my god the kano extension that was meaningless by the way 301 so poking with the side get off me i'm the chosen wow. one all right overhead incoming hold on let's hold this chip first wow 
Jesus. Oh, never mind. I got hit. I am so sorry. I told you that overhead was coming. Why did you listen to me? It's just not worth it sometimes. You think that overhead's like, you know, it's only 8%, but you hate getting hit by it because, like, man, this animation is annoying. I'm tired of yeah. getting blessed in my head, bro. And then all of a sudden, boom, you hold 40 and you die. Yeah, you know, and it's one of those things, right, where it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. You got to pick your poison, so to speak, because if you keep getting hit by the overhead, it's going to stack up. And that's when things get really dangerous, because then that one time could very much spell death in that case. Very much so. However, if you guys know Hourglass Ring, you know he's no stranger to situations like this. Being down 2-0, I think I dare might say he has the most reverse 3 O's in a top 8, top 16 here on TNS. It's been crazy. I've not seen the adjustments this kid has been able to do. Oh, mm. here we go. Adjustments, right? Again, taking that knowledge and using it against you. Understanding that folks are ready to punish that, uh, that flying flying cannon beautiful blocks on the overhead and gets the back throw instead turn it right into a shish kebab and toss him to the corner now i got a back throw on my own clap him and show him off the shot oh my god rolls out of there and guess what no autobots all right here we go trying to reset things get a little bit of neutral here doing a good job of just checking hourglass with those fireballs not even looking for a clean hit so to speak ah. just looking for the chance to get them stopped oh God, and getting the chance to take this man's toes, bro. The lows have been adding up so much. Yeah, you know what else we need to add? We need to add the old voice lines back. Where is the tunnel dog? Oh, what's, no. what's going on? NRS. No, I, I kind of like the voice line. I like the voice line, though. We, get, we have get over here, but we don't have the. Yeah, what, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like it. It's pretty hype. It's pretty hype. I'm, it's, I'm, gonna, it's, it's, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna like break character hype. here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a little unprofessional. Like that. That shit is whack. Yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> Wait a second. We, we be impatient though. We walking him down. The fish snapping in the water. Can be a restander. He just does it again. Oh, another Why? one. He might as well. The oh, nice that was a good idea. And Get the punish. Don't hurt. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. What a setup there with the cannonball. And one of those unsung heroes, right? People kind of tend to forget about him a little bit once the uh, full game drop, but it's still very much the same. Relatively unchanged from uh, unchanged from the beta days. Man, he's still a menace. I hate him. Oh no! Oh, and there we go. A whiff punish with the air ball. Oh my goodness! More projectiles coming on play. By the way, the second Kung Lao has coming through. Rain trying to walk this woman down, but so tough she's just so jumpy oh wait get just in the toes blessing the toes oh no it might be over it might be said and done oh my that whip punish was so good not gonna be able to get the kill but man this damage is gonna be crazy yeah i lie okay i didn't but oh no not watching the toes once again yo c3 with the 100 biddies appreciate you Oh, All right, here we go. Pure sitting on set point here, trying to wrap things up. One more plus range on plus range. Or folks of the special. Oh, it's so much. And just a dash up into the throw, escape failed, stabbing him in. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's not looking too good, Jackal. Yeah, but again, you know, Hourglass, no stranger to this danger. Hourglass trying to find their way in. And we're blocking that setup now. Pure has seen it enough times. Oh, oh no. my gosh. And the whip punishes from our glass right now. Look at the other side. The stagger plus frames. You still like the game as well. Nizer there. You can do that for free. Yeah, but you want to take that, right? Because in the in the battle of attrition, you do come out on top there. And our glass looks like I they like might have found a sweet spot. Oh, oh no. It's it. Overhead. Yeah, and that's such a game. tough situation because you want to punish these things so bad, but Kano is just waiting there in the wing. More chip on chip on chip. Projectile, good blocks. It's looking mighty scary, but I smell an armor electric fly coming through. Teleport cannonball. Yep. Oh, no, that's chip. Oh, no, that's ball 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 block. Ball. Electric fly. Do it again. You wouldn't dare do it again, would you? You bow. Good blocks. Over the overhead, pure. It's going to advance on to winners' finals to fight Poise.
Hourglass is going to go down to the loser's side 3 0. The Raiden and Kano looking mighty powerful right now. They call me Liu Kang. Maximum degeneracy. Am I seeing Kung Lao on Kung Lao? What is this? Absolutely. Actually, high key, most people don't know this. This is actually a great zoning team. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh wait, it was it oh, was it Illuminati. Is Illuminati. Okay. okay, it wasn't dark. Okay, it wasn't dark only that one. It was Illuminati. Got it. That's why I got it. With. I read the wrong name, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, big jump. I like to finish out on the screen right there. Yeah. Again, you know, the development of the meta, right? People understanding that what folks are looking for, at least more, more commonly. So, you know, not not being afraid to just let certain things rock. Oh, you can't, you can't at all. Oh, you can't be whipping like that either. Jesus. Oh, yeah, but cut it short there, one. right? Mm, oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, Kung Lao has to Oh, that's play. it. If you don't drop it. Whoa. That's it. Oh, you didn't go to Fatal? Actually, no, the scaling would have been pretty bad. Actually, never mind. You're right, you're right, you're right. I like the sweep attempt, but the over is coming through. The chip is now the problem. He gets the one, two. He gets shimmed, and that's going to do a joystick with the four, four action. Round two, fight. All right, here we go. Battle of the Shaolin Monks right now. Oh, the over is coming through. Illuminati just keeping things simple here, which essentially, like, you know, usually the best is how, like, Kung Lao is played, right? We always talk about the bird wow, the, the dive kick everywhere, you know, constantly cranking out some crazy stuff. But you don't necessarily have to do that with this character, and that's always been the case throughout his iterations. He's always had a strong jab. He's always had a strong one-two setup where he can enforce his game plan. He also has really strong lows. You know, being able to take advantage of that uh that overhead low that overhead low situation with the uh, low kick. So utilizing the uh, wake up there with the spin. He's always just been so strong, as you say. And it really is that versatility. The, the ability to be able to play any place out you want to is so huge. But man, the nookie to, to seal the deal? You gonna do that to your fire god? That's crazy work. Couldn't be me. Luke okay, Kane, beat him. Oh no, and that's a clean punish. That is minus seven. And if you guys did not know, Luke Kane's stand one is six frames. Plus three, by the way. One of the few characters actually has a six frame normal available. I mean, he gave himself that special privilege because, you know, he's he's just a, he's just a god. Oh my god, this damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This round three is probably like top three tracks in the game for me. Oh, this, no, I actually really caught myself bobbing my head to the Tarkov. I was like, oh, this, 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 this stage is actually like underrated. I feel yes, like this has some underrated is. music actually in this stage. On oh, this yes. stage specifically. All right, good patience there from Illuminati. Mmm, dive kick, but he still gets hit by it. Jump back again. Oh, that was so low and that was so good. But the shower should be over there. The oh, overhead into the overhead into the oof. You guys thought four or two and the fatal was over? It's still here. <laughs> it's still around. Don't worry. So first you get you get your face pushed into the hat and then your spine. It actually sucks when you think about it. And and the way you got pushed into the hat face first is a kick to said spine. So you're already bruised. You're already beat up. And then if that wasn't enough, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and slice that open. The, the base of what Jack was trying to tell you guys, that's a closed casket funeral. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 you don't want to see that main body. Yeah. You got uh, you got put on the operating table and they forgot about you. So They said, oh, yeah, there's no way you put this body on here, bro. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a surgeon, not a miracle worker. This is, this is Dunzo, okay? He's cooked. This guy's toast. Get him out. I thought I could train Shujinko alone. I remind everyone in chat to please drink water and stretch. Please drink water and stretch. Yes, hydrate. Even if it's cold outside. Please drink water. Oh, wait a second. Kung Lao the home. It's three Kung Lao's on the screen. I just realized that. Jesus Christ, it's a lot. Welcome to MK1, baby. <laughs> Infinite timeline. Let's Infinite go. Infinite timeline, baby. And this is definitely oh, uh a bit more of a uh, conservative matchup that we've seen so far tonight, right? A lot of these matchups have been going back and forth. A lot of swinging, a lot of buttons being pressed. 
but you're seeing that Illuminati and Joystick both are picking their shots very carefully. They're starting to get a little bit more aggressive now, but before we got here, they were taking it slow. They weren't afraid to, you know, walk back and even if it means putting them in the corner. Oh, wait a second. That down two was plus, but the breakaway was going to be immediate. Spins the bars to try to see if he can get that 12% off that projectile. Throws the hat in his face, but a dive kick to the man's temple. Huh. Oh, yeah, he's down. All right, here we go. Oh, Bro, the push to the corner has been insane. But the right, good armor. With the armor. Oh, one in a whip punish, but not close enough. He throws up the hat. No hard to block it. And that's going to be a big punish. No, he doesn't get the flying kick on the other side. Yeah, I think about that particular setup, right? Is that Tuck Loud does have a multiple moves that he can do outside of that uh, amplified up kick. Tries to be ready. Two, but does not have it. You know, I've I've been we've been playing this game so much, and I'm so used to seeing Kung Lao do teleport, but I realize his base form does not have teleport. Right. I just I literally just processed that just now. Great, the like, uh, teleport for the up kick. Interesting choice. Up kick is pretty good. I like it. It's really it's really cool. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, it has a DP. Just back. Oh, he thought the dive kick was coming. That's why he saw that slight pause. But wait a second, the harassment in the corner. Get away from him. He's had enough. Good block. Good block indeed. Oh my God, those flying balls are so low. Big jump. Oh, that's oh. good. Oh, that could have been huge. A bit of uh, input error there. He could high key zone him out there. Oh, never mind. Right, here he we go. Right, nice low blocks. Oh, Kung Lao got hit. Nice wall box once again coming out of Joystick oh, and the catch. beautiful Pop Tart to seal the deal into the. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's how you feel? Cool. Brutality. Put that man oh, in pieces. That was a fire line. Your future is history. That's crazy. It's not like you could just, you know, you can literally just erase the history, but, you know, okay, cool. Okay. You're so right. cool. Do what you want, guy. Do what you want. All right, here we go. Out for another. Uh... Ah, going for a cameo change this time. Out to go with the Goro. Mm, interesting, interesting. No twin action this time around. Now, the Goro's going to allow for some launchers off of that EX Shaolin Shimmy, as well as safety on a lot of things. And the mix-up potential. A lot of people don't realize that that low grab from Goro can be used pretty well when uh, paired with that back three with Kung Lao. And um, not nobody wants to be gripped by this forearm ball, man. Like, you see you see that guy? Like, you're getting tossed, okay? You're getting tossed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shell, that was uh, immediately popular, popularized by uh, Splash's gameplay, right? Just showing us the the uh, possibilities with this with this setup. You know, just how effective it can be in enforcing Kung Lao's gameplay. Because Kung Lao, for all his uh, you know, strength, uh, does have a you know, matter where he doesn't have a lot of lows in this case. So capitalizing off of that and then also, you know, capitalizing off of, you know, uh, filling in the gap in those gaps Ooh, making sure that uh, the opponent has to wait a little longer before they can take the turn back well just stepping on it man that's actually crazy to wait a second is that a wake up buttons this man doesn't care there's all the way to the corner and oh my gosh back to the screen we go seal deal One more round two. Fight. All right. Oh, sweet. In that meter, fishing. Dog. Dude. Oh, no trip guard. Oh, okay. I think he's waiting yeah, for Yeah, probably thought that hat was going to catch him on the way down. Oh, oh man. Oh, big whip dive there with the dive kick. This is the most damage. 324. He could have got more. Overhead. Oh, Watching your head is going to be a big bet on you. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. Kung Lao has two different versions of his hat toss. One is a mid, and the other is a high. A bit tricky, though, because the one that's a high doesn't look like it. That was the one that was a high that he just threw. Has that buzzsaw action. And it allows a corner extension if you um, get it um, combo correctly. Yeah, I saw seeing that earlier was uh, pretty, pretty thick. Ooh, the mid toss, though. Goes for Shimmy. Oh, he calls in Goro wrong. He's mixing. And just goes for throwing. He read him so well. Oh! oh my god. Wow. Whoa. Where did his head go? They have n <laughs> oh, he has it. It was a hat trick. Oh, this guy's a oh this guy's a magician. Oh, you like that. Oh, that was OD. Bro, he oh, actually god. took the man's head. Yo, that was he OD. took the fire god's head and that then took OD. it out his hat. Okay, he bro. Kicked your head off and made it a magic trick. Yo, what? <laughs> Guy. That was oh, yo. Can somebody clip that? This guy's somebody too just cool. clip that, please. He's, he's, he's just too. That cool. was too sick. That was too sick. I will forever be a Kung Lao fan. I've been a character of this fan since I was eight years old. There is no reason not to like this character. There is no reason not to like this character. He's so cocky <laughs> and so funny. He's just a guy. Oh my! He's just reading this man like a book at this point. Hey, Illuminati! I didn't know you was a librarian too. Actually, it makes sense. You're an Illuminati. You know. Oh, you didn't know. That brutality is a uh, plus two confidence buff, brother. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I wasn't aware. When you're new, you when you're in the Illuminati, you kind of know a couple things. Uh oh, here we go. We mixing now. We we're throwing out strings. He knows this man is not watching his toes, because Jesus Christ, he keeps on doing it. The lows, and oh my yeah. goodness, the throws just might do it. The chip is the issue. Oh my Ugh. tight kick. All right, and Illuminati trying to wrap things up here, sitting on set point. Remember, folks, this is to get into top eight. I'm gonna lose the side. Yeah, we're in top 16 action back over here. Oh my God, now watching your toes again uh, and Goro uh, raising uh, the roof, uh, beating in the uh, chest, 270, and some change. All right, taking our turn back. Keeping it simple. All right, and again, Illuminati just keeping things very simple, utilizing the sweep there to keep Joystick contained, understanding that Joystick is looking for something obvious. We're just gonna use the safe stuff. We don't have, we don't have to really go in here, but Joystick manages to edge out a bit of a help lead, but it looks like it's gonna go right the back reset. to the Illuminati's favor. Don't get All hit right. by the overhead. Don't get hit by the overhead. Oh, you got hit by the low, never mind. Next no kick kills, and that will be Illuminati's game set and match. Oh, eight, eight. we got eight. more. Oh, we styled it. Into the brutal. Oh, his legs. Oh. And his head. Actually, give oh. my that. Oh. I see a lot of chip damage on the screen as Sento is going to be out here swinging away. And Cyrus is going to be right behind him. All right, we're going right into it. This man with the back throw. Oh, that's gonna be a big punish, brother. What are you running at? You running in my house? Oh yeah, let me take you over here to the stairs real quick. You about to see your way out. Get out of here. Oh, wait a second. No, we don't care about Sinto. Hold this, had to hold this mix. Oh no, he's coming. Ooh wee. We're right back into it. No throws out the hat, but yo, how was Sinto on the other side? Bless up, we got another one coming through. Oh, beautiful Untier coming out of Unjust and taking the man's cojones at it. The throw? No, it's going to be chip at this point. There's only so much you can do. You got to flawless block the staggers. If not, the chip will cost you. All right, Mighty Unjust taking that first round there. Good stuff. Again, understanding that the key to victory is keeping Kenshi contained. Not giving him an opportunity to utilize that shell that they got right now. Staying away. Oh, what a bait there. Throwing, whipping the grab on purpose to force them to respond and then using the hat to punish them for it. Man, in the worst way. But wait a second, who's allowed doing work in this corner right now? Oh, oh here we go. Six, now seven. it's a party. Oh, got hit with the overhead, and that's the opening. You're forced to break. Get him away from me. Get him out. Oh, big jump in. Tyrex coming in with a save though. Rolling. Putting him away so he can recharge. Alright, a little, little bit of a fuzzy guard there. Oh, was punished? No, he did not get the punish. 
Oh, it's caught there. That's not good. No, missed time to Cyrax call. That could have been big damage there. Oh, try to go for back two into Fatal, the big hair Mary. <gasps> but misses the punish was unjust. Yeah, that no pushback chance. there is a little awkward to deal with. All right, Sento is coming out to play. Johnny is getting out of the way. Oh, yeah, my he won't get away with it God. a second he's time. Trying to walk. Look at him trying to crawl. He's trying to crawl. His son, he's done. He's done, bro. Johnny King. Oh, my God. It is definitely top eight action right now as we're getting brutality after brutality. Told y'all, folks, be ready for a show. Every week is something else right here on TNS. Mighty Unjust takes game number one. Game number one going to the Mightiest Justed. Looking real strong in this top eight loser side. If you guys are just now tuning in, Unjust was put down to losers by our glass of rain. Three to two victory. It came down to the final decision with the clutch up coming from Hourglass. However, you guys know Unjust, and you guys know the Mighty Adjustments. You guys know what he is capable of. So we're going to see if he can make that happen. However, Red Nose, pretty good swordsman. See what he has in stock. Oh, wait. The throw. We start off the right way. Oh, gets caught by the low. Oh, oh, I didn't know that was going to Side version. switch. Double side switch. Excuse me. Are you getting sandwiched? Never mind. He just jumped out for free. That's crazy work. Yeah, that is the thing about Kenshi. You have to know which strings are going to work and how to keep them contained. You can't just autopilot on that case. Oh, gets hit there. Yeah, got caught putting away Sento. There is recovery in that case. Oh, gets Ooh. caught. Checking the toes. Good block me over here. Tries to go for back two, but none of that. That man's trying to break dance. Hey, there's nothing right there, my friend. Yeah, Mining Unjust is doing a great job of just timing their strikes right. Using awkward timings to throw Red Nose off. Not going for the attack immediately. Uh, if you noticed earlier when they did the safe jump setup, they did a little bit of a micro dash before hitting the four three there to throw red nose off to make them think that they were done, so to speak. And they got caught pushing a button. Oh, caught pushing a button in the worst way, and you try to escape, but no, that's the wrong way to tech, my friend. Now you got to hold more corner pressure and ooh, okay, second tech it this time. But now you got to hold a knee. Are you gonna break? Oh, okay, you know what this damage? Man. Give me a cojones. Three eighty seven. Holy. Oh no. This poor man. Oh, uh, here that we go. Safe. Party time. Oh, and there it is. Mmm. Just going up 2 oh. oh. Oh, fatal? <laughs> oh, yeah, show him the car real quick. I don't even know how the car got to the hourglass, but hey, cause you, you like how it look? Let me close the door for you. Take you for a ride real quick. Enjoy. Kablooey Kablam. Johnny Cage wins. I love how he always has this super wide grin with everything he does. He's just like, yeah. yeah. He's all blended up and he doesn't care. Johnny Cage, that's me. <laughs> Hit ass. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch things up, possibly. Oh, we're getting a bit of a mirror match here. All right, here we go. Game on the line. Red Nose let it all ride on Johnny. Mm, Johnny on Johnny action. Never would have thought this, but hey, Jonathan's seeing everything right now. And this is a complete mirror. Same cameo as well, if you guys didn't know. Um, we're charging up the star power immediately again you know the development of the meta understanding getting a better understanding of those situations and taking liberties in different places now Ooh, with the tech red nose never mind here's johnny ain't ready for prime time he dropping the combo brother you can do that oh, wait, oh the we're getting things started early Oh, and there we go. Full star power. We're going for it immediately. 
red nose. Oh, goes to the gap. He knows. Oh my oh, no, gosh. We're just letting it go right now. Red nose immediately letting the cannon loose. It's gonna pay for it though. Oh, big air there. Okay, that should All right. be like just selling it. Oh, I'm building a height too. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Mighty Unjust. Now getting a chance to activate their star power. It's Battle of the of the Spotlight right now. Yeah, oh, ooh, a little bit of shimmy, 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 man, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, shimmy, yay. Yeah. No, no dice. Right, there, was no, there was nobody coming out. They socks right there, but there's a setup that's mean. Good blocks so far. Oh, caught him swinging, but no punish. And that is so unfortunate. It's just a double hat. It's gonna be staggered into throws at this point. Oh no, you guessed wrong. Careful. Oh, she wants a brutality. She wants a brutality. He wants a brutality. He wants a brutality. You know he does. He try to get it. He's searching for it. Oh, you let it rock. Oh, that man's and gone. There you have it. No spots. It's a pretty good time. There's there's this uh Korean fusion restaurant that is really good. It's Korean and Mexican. Oh, it together. Yes. Don't I let me find of that. that. Don't Yo, let me listen. Get I gotta remember the name of that spot. Don't, 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 actually, don't even yeah. talk about it before someone give it to Keith. <laughs> it's not. We're it's, it's gonna keep on the hush. Just DM me. Just DM me. Oh, wait a second though. I know who's going in the DMs right now. This man crazy. Trying to speak something to this man, uh, Pierre, but uh, Pierre says, You know what? We're too holy for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there we go. There, Koizzi, no, you know, not afraid to crank up that armor and let, letting them know that you are not, again, you're not gonna run me over here. Now, if anybody can do this, it's Koizzi. Koizzi, I believe it was like three weeks ago, went through three, and I mean three raidings to get the grand finals. Actually, with this. Boise is definitely one of the uh, stronger players in the scene, right? A consistent competitor, not only in MK1, but MK11 as well, which is really where they started to come into their own. And with the same character, you know? Played Sindel in MK1, killed it. Now, uh, I mean, MK11, killed it. Now they're playing Sindel in MK1 and doing a lot of the same. Oh, you said how did that whip? Because she was in hit, uh, Raiden was still in hit advantage. The stand wouldn't actually hit him. And because the hit advantage was still there, unfortunately, the boy got bodied. Oh my god, the little hat. No, that guy had to be a projectile. Don't mind me, y'all. Just uh, enjoying myself. As I oh, hope yeah. you are. As you guys know, the uh, audio in this game and the music is pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. Got the William Roger in the game. This man had to talk about food. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Listen, brother, I got a box of cookies, literally a box of this, homemade this, cookies, literally this, waiting this for me guy, to the stream. <laughs> this guy. Listen, you got to be prepared. Unreal. You see this match? Both of our players are prepared. Why aren't you? Why aren't you following in their footsteps? You know, well, guess what? I'm healthy. I have an orange right here, guy. I don't want to peel oh, it. Yeah, I already, uh, I already had my protein and my vegetables for the day. Now it's time to shine. You know? <laughs> vegetables, put fruit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. about to order up a storm after this and take the fattest nap before I gotta go to work. But Dell action in top eight. Yes, Indians versus the Earth Realms champions is coming underway right now. But yo, we do actually get yeah, Raiden and Johnny. Wow. Yep. <laughs> no, it's been, it it's come been wow. tough though. It's <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah, it's been tough though because like. Back and forth affair of Kung Lao trying to come through with an arm break. Oh my goodness. Then comes through off and everything. But oh, no, you didn't get it high enough. But guess what? The nice for coverage. I told you guys about the Outback Service Protection Plan. It's really good. You guys look into it. We consider your options. Ooh, that was a good flawless block there. That's death, though. You thought it was still your turn, buddy? No, sir. Hold the cell. Hold this corner carry. Whoa. What a push there by Koizy. Man, that's crazy. I wouldn't want to talk about it, but man, he went corner to corner, but he's just out, you know? He can just do that for free. All plus right. On plus frames. Maintain the corner positioning here. Pure stacking on that, that chip damage, which 
honestly seems the more dangerous aspect of this shell, right? It's not even necessarily the combo damage, because Raina can do that with anybody. It is really the cano ball setups that just keep you still and keep you stuck in this movie that is Storm Cell Part 3. Is that death? Oh, yeah, he's over. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just done. Just get nice the cano ball to, to just make sure, right? No, the cano ball is like, you know, the cherry on top, quite literally. Mm hmm. Smith's right. having a great time right now. Oh, what a wave dash. Good right, movement there. there from Pure getting right up in there. That's what like Speedy comes off. Is that a punish? No, you can't, but he's down focus, man. Blessing his head once again with the four hits. Oh, no. You Three had to break. break. You had to. Oh, wait. Gets the back to a clean screen. And look at this man. The queen right, is No meter. Here. No good. problem. Goes for the setup. Good block. Fighting our way out of the corner. Tech. Beautiful tech. Perfect jump. I thought that was going to be a punish, but it wasn't. But the overhead coming through. The stilettos. They're so good. Heel toe. And Koizy doing a great job of just essentially, again, staying out of the way, right? Which is what a lot of Sindel players will tend to do because that's where they start to have the advantage. Where they can get you to swing at them while they're doing their flight shenanigans, right? But yes, Pure yes, yes. is constantly pushing the issue, utilizing that Storm Cell to its highest degree, stacking on the chip. No Kano Ball, however, so Spoiz is going to take their turn back. That was a questionable decision right there for Pure. You didn't have Kano Ball to keep it safe, so it wasn't one of those mind games where you're like, I wonder if you think I'm not going to do it because I don't have Kano. Well, yeah. unfortunately, they did, and now that they did, you, you cost me your life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I lied. The kick wasn't right, enough. One more chance. Oh my god, but the stilettos were. You know, I just needed one more kick jackal. That's all it was. Yeah, just one more. Just one more. All right, closing, even up the score here. One to one. Remember, folks, this is winner's final. Loser will have one more shot in the loser's final. Winner will get that nice coveted grand final spot on the winner's side where they will have access to not one, but two chances to take the tournament. Someone revealed Melina's secret. It wasn't us, I assure you. Mm. You see the oh, anger in her face. Talking. She's pissed. Like, who snitching? Who no, snitching? I, I, it's okay. Who dry I, I, snitching? I, 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 can, I can fix it. Oh, God. Oh, I have. Okay, no, 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 no. I need someone to clip that. I have never seen someone clear storm cell. I, I have never seen that, brother. There's no it's way. Like there is light at the end of the tunnel. Man. Oh, gets the quick shimmy. And a quick discharge shoot to the corner. We go, never mind. He drops the combo. Let me find out Pure not ready for prime time. And I love that Koizy is so quick to adapt, right? They what, understood the that just Pure happened? was going to try to go for another shimmy, and they utilizes the down three to stop that. Someone please tell me what just happened right there. He's gonna bar it on the on the, the shock reversal move and it didn't go through. I, I We're gonna don't. figure out that uh decision pays off here. Pure is sitting on two bars. Patience. Oh, it's but it's the rolls, bro. The Sendell special. You gotta be waiting on that cartwheel kick because it's coming. Oh damn, I just smacked the hell out of Kano. Y'all saw that? That's a combo. That's a combo. He deserved it. Oh, oh my gosh. What a catch. Pure Kano's gonna take a while because Sindel did snap her fingers. Oh, he's back already though. He don't care. You ain't Thanos, I ain't gone yet. Oh, Ooh. trying to unlock, but the delay. So lucky to get Smith right there. Gets the armor Oof. through. Oh, you're so lucky that wasn't punished, but down poke to a throw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I smelt it. I smelt it. Oh, oh, no. You thought she was getting past it. This ain't looking too good. I feel like the setup might kill I fear. Oh, my God. Stalk up and do nothing after that hat setup. You really hate to see it. And that's uh, pretty much a tough situation there for Pure because, again, when Sindel has the ability to snap those fingers, to snap her fingers, and that's the thing. You don't really know 
what buff or debuff she's applied to that cameo situation until it actually happens, right? Because again, she can lock out your breaker. She can make your cameo take longer to recharge. She can make her cameo come back faster. Like there's a very uh, solid group of options that she has available when it comes to utilizing the cameo system. Very unique. But. Oh, we're gonna see what happens in the next. Yeah, Madame Bo Shop, you okay? What's the timeline here? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing Sindel has some words for Raiden while he was, you know, getting his meal. And, um, I guess Raiden didn't find it too appealing. And Sindel said, you know what? How about we just fight real quick? And for some reason, she got Kung Lao on her side. So I feel like that's what this timeline is right here. Alright, here we go. Bit of a mix up. Oh, oh, and that was funky. Poise getting away by the skin of their teeth. True to leave, but wait oh, a but not twice. Not twice. You came to uh, catch lightning in the bottle two times. You know that. It's too impossible. It's too impossible. Oh, whoa. Big update for you guys off stream. Mighty Unjust wins the run back over our glass of rain. Three to one. My goodness. And oh my gosh, that chip is adding up here. Looking like he wants to tie this up as well. Hold on. This is winners for now. Oh, the in and out move, but nothing afterwards. Mm. Mm. Nice. No punish there and the jump in. Alright, good oh chunk of damage. Gosh. You're trying to wrap this up. Oh no, the kick to the face. That's not the word though. And that's the ideal situation for Pure right now that Sindel is out of resources. That means that she has to play as straight up as she can. I mean, no, uh, no cartwheel shenanigans. Well, less of them at least. Oh, and there it is. No damn All right, as you can see there, that Kano meter, that cameo meter now is uh, effectively nerfed as the uh, charge rate is going to take a much longer time now. Oh, this is bad. The back throw into this situation, this ain't too good. You can't get hit. You'll pass. Oh, oh good response. And that's going to do it. Yo, Pure is going to tie us up two to two in the set. We're going to a game five, Jackal. All right, we're right back into it, right? This has been back and forth city all night right here on the bracket. No less to be expected between these two behemoths of uh, players here. Again, this is winner's final, so we are jockeying for prime, prime position. Kano. Oh my goodness. Taking the time to think about it. I like this. I like this. You know, take your breathing before you lock in. And this is just a better move, to be honest. Like, you don't always have to go right into it. You know, you got to take your time. Think about what you did wrong in that last match before you go back in. Especially if you want to try to kill your opponent's momentum just a tad. Yeah, you know, icing your opponent, so to speak. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's honestly, uh, a pretty strong strategy, so to speak, because again, like you said, you know, taking any opportunity you can to slow that momentum down because you get that win and all you want is another one. And just to uh, update folks in the bracket, Mighty Unjust moves forward on the loser side of the bracket by beating, our, beating and eliminating Hourglass of Rain three to one. Right now, Illuminati is currently trying to make their way as they 3-0 Illy Silly and are currently on a 2-0 lead against Just Nasty. Illuminati looking to uh, make things final and it looks like they just secured their spot in the loser semi. It will be Mighty Unjust facing off against Illuminati right here on TNS. Man, it was a 3-0 at that. It was weird because you saw Just Nasty, I think, in that set, switch to the right goal as well. But we got to talk about that later time. The task at hand right now is this man, Koizy, has been holding the block bars for probably too long. We're going to get sniped out the air, brother. All right, and again, you know, we got the chameleon camera. 
cameo coming up here. The cameo that can do it all, so to speak. Oh, out of there, though. So Glaive is doing massive work right now, but there's only so much you can do with Katana's on the screen. Yeah, Glaive is uh, especially a boon for Koizy in this case, right? Because the fact that the Glaive goes past the character and then comes back means that anytime you call Kano back there, there is an opportunity that he can get caught too. Yes. Oh my god, the split. Other side, you put a beautiful unlock at yeah, a pure weight. This is actually really bad for Poise. The corner carry and all this pressure that's coming up next. Instant Storm still to uh, secure some chip because he knows he ain't gonna get the fullest block off rip. Oh my goodness. Tries to go for another flawless block with so much chip adding up. But wait a second, it was close enough for a punish. This is spilled. Does that? This is actually it. Yeah, it's a fatal. Get in, burn it. Uh, uh, uh. All okay, right. Killing isn't that bad, right? I feel right. like they could have did more, honestly, because remember, we already saw the Twitter videos where people were using all three cameos in one combo, like, doing a lot of damage. This is killing, right? Uh, oh my god, he's not dead. He's so lucky Glaive clipped him. Final right. Round. Final, game, final round. round. One more time, chat. Who you got? Big jump. Koizy looking real strong right now. Yo, the Koizy stands. I know y'all in the chat. Let me get a big her in the chat for Koizy stands. Seems like the queen is about to take it unless... I might have spoken too soon. I am sorry. All right, but yeah, Pure kind of forced to do it on their own for a little bit here. Got to be careful when they're calling the Kato assist because any call is a bear, is an expensive one at this point. Expensive as hell. Oh, wait a second. Pure's throwing it down. So All right, the hell cameo. Out. Oh, the Dome looking kind of annoying for Koizy right now. Hold on. Yeah, for you know, a lot of times we see Pure constantly on the offensive and utilizing that that uh, stagger damage, but they're no stranger to zoning as well. And you saw that in the earlier earlier in the bracket when they were just using the the single fireball to to check the opponent for trying to move or call a cameo, not even really looking for a clean hit, just trying to keep them still, especially in this moment because they currently have the health lead. Mm, the throw is failed on top of that too. I like what Pure was doing. He didn't want to spend any bars, so he had to meet at the break, but now it's looking very troublesome and it's looking just like <gasps> Koizy is going to take it over pure three to cure oh my god rather than this breaks oh his arm okay you know he, he's been through a lot bro oh no, never mind Who's your queen mm. <laughs> Koizy secured them for, but to find out who's gonna be fighting pure, you gotta watch this match right here. Mink, mink, mink. Nah, ain't gonna be no Raikou on the screen, just Johnny and Kung Lao. Really interested to see how Unjust approaches this matchup, since Goro's gonna be in play and he has a second guess on those arms. Ooh, the first hit, going to Illuminati, that's important. Two bars instantly, it's too good. Yeah, and as we said, you know, as we pointed out earlier, you know, these matches are starting to get a little bit more, a little bit more intense. See a little bit more conservative play going on right now. Folks are a lot less likely to push a button because you see right now, the moment you push the wrong one, you are going for a ride. And Mighty Unjust, that ride said, here, take this 70% plus. Thank you for your, thank you for your time. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, we love it. We love it. We get a rescan mid screen. Instant check. Oh my God, he's dead. Oh wait, he didn't go for. Oh okay. He can do two on two in the fatal. Hello. Oh, oh so <gasps> no. Whew. Too much going on right there. It was too much dip on the chip. It was too much. It was, it was, I, I I couldn't even copy him, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, and again, you know, there's one of those situations where it can get real hairy because you have the lead, right? And all you got to do is just wait it out, right? Right? And then next thing you know, you eat a throw. Next thing you know, you eat a raw, a, ra a straight hit. And next thing you know, you're getting hit for a full combo into reversal. And right now, Mighty Unjust is doing just that, taking that reversal of fortune, pretty much putting Illuminati in the same blender that they were just finding themselves in. Oh, my God. God, unjust with the answer back though, extending that leg. Alright, one round to one round. We're gonna see who's going up in the set for Jesus Christ. Wow, what a confirm. Sometimes you guys gotta do the ass things. 
poke into special. Oh, no callback on the J Glaive there. That was Definitely really expected, weird. Uh, something to happen there, but no dice. I was mad confused too. Oh, we got ice on putting on that, uh, that crystal. This neutral being put. Oh, this clip. You want to get combo for this too? Oh my gosh. That was a nice pickup from Unjust. Going back to the spacing game though. Yep, and here you go, playing the lame game, understanding that you have the, uh, the health lead. Not really giving uh, Illuminati too many chances here, because if you do, something like this could happen. And they can spell disasters, but wait, Fatal Blow still in play for both the characters right now. Oh no, you well, just you stay thought, patient. You thought it was your turn, but Illuminati keeping the pressure up, having the gall to break out that armor at the right time. Negative seven. Oh, gets the back throw. But you're so lucky you didn't have a ton of But the and wait. do it again. And this is the struggle. If your character Isn't that your favorite move, the armor, I, I hate the move. I'm, I'm trying not to be <laughs> angry right now. Because, like, this is the struggle. If you do not have a character that can break the armor for the move, you got to hold that. It is not funny to hold. It's really not. It makes me frustrated. It's sad. I hate it. Took the Ip Man punch and made it a special. It gave it armor. Brother in Christ, it's Love terrible. Johnny Cage. All right, here we go. And you know, that was definitely anybody's game, right? Definitely. Because it was a lot of back and forth. Pretty much whoever gets the first hit. And then at that point is, is just trying to finish the job. Mm -hmm. Oh, walking through. Illuminati is doing a great job, but like, like time in the armor though, it's been incredible, and also just being a nuisance with the hat throws and just movement to make it really hard for Unjust to get a pick down. But wait a second, misses the un I mean, a big combo, and a big combo is going to be answered back from Mighty Unjust. Oh, another shimmy is still plus. Oh, gets the throw, and that's a restand. He's gonna check with a 4 1. Oh no, he doesn't. He looks more into yeah, that move. I was expecting uh, Luminati to push a button there, trying to shimmy something. Oh, yeah, he's expecting that armor, but guess what? He's gonna take his cojones instead. Oh, he goes for the down one. A sweep. No way. No girls in play, but unjust gets shimmy. Gets the breaker. What's the move? You stand patient? I respect that. Oh, you got a little bit too overzealous. Get my height meter. Oh, it's almost full. All right, here we go. Johnny looking for the spotlight. Illuminati trying to turn it off. My gosh, the full combo to the corner. The set play here. Oh, overhead. You're not blocking that, brother. Nobody did. All right, oh, now. my lord. Pretty much a death territory here for uh, Illuminati, full star power meter. So if Mighty Unjust can get the confirmed that they need. I'm going to get confirmed. They keep on getting hit. This is terrible. And Illuminati recognizing that, hey, you got to come to me. I got to come to you. It's the other way around. And Mighty Unjust having no problem with that. Jumps over the fans. Oh, that was bad. Wakes up a fatal? Yeah, press I'm going to dash out of it. But chip uh, from the Shaolin Jimmy, yo, Illuminati just staying alive. Yeah, but you know what else is alive? That star power. Why you just looking for that clean hit? Illuminati knows it. Because look at this corner hit right here. Oh, he smacked the hell out of Chameleon right there. You saw that? Oh, yeah. That took her out. Put that up. Yeah, Illuminati staying out of the way. Unjust actually really needs to take this game. If he doesn't, it's actually going to look pretty bad and detrimental for him. Oh, no, the go. armor. You're not going to have time to break. You got to hold all this damage. This ain't good. The popes. The adding goes so much. Wait a second, the back throw. Ooh. Throw's starting to add up, but you still got to watch out for Shimmy. Oh, you got it. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Oh, dear. Terrible. Here we go. Hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, the back door. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yo, unjust. Wow. What an answer. But as you said, that star power was in play. And he's like, you know, he's just one mix away. And that's exactly what we saw. The combo execution of Manalati is Justin. 
amazing comeback there for Mighty Unjust. It was looking like Illuminati's game at that point, but again, that star power forever a threat. I'm just getting the hit that they needed and convert it into big, big damage. It's just too tall. Doing my Truth own stunts has been hell on my back. You already are making excuses. Oh, the classic talk between both these players. Both these characters have been so, you know, cocky in the past. You know, they got some things to say to each other. What I've noticed a lot is Unjust is really content that he wants to have Wave on the screen at most times to try to shut down any approach. Yeah, you know, and it makes sense, right? Because it's a mid, it's a, it's a homing mid that uh, hits two times. Give you the opportunity to get a combo. Definitely one of the stronger options against this kind of setup where Kung Lao is able to strike for almost anywhere on the screen, especially with having Goro in play. Oh yeah, oh wait a second, that's two for flinching the counter hit, but no, he couldn't get the conversion. It was kind of wonky that two, uh, two, one, two did hit from kind of max range, but oh my goodness, gonna get a big interruption off of the overhead. Oh, does it get the armor up because he wasn't close enough? Goes overhead right there, and big combo confirm. I'm just gonna keep it quite simple, build some hype meter, and hold on. There might be some adjustments being made. Yeah, Unjust definitely uh, one of those players where it seems like you might have a read on him, but really he's just gathering data, right? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there oh, it is. His face? It's kind of crazy. Our power in play. Was it worth it? Well, we'll see. It turned out to be worth it the last time around. That's going to be a punish. And there's just so much red on the screen I right now. I did not oh, know that gosh. combo that was that. Jesus Christ, why does his health bar look like a Marvel Oh bar? my goodness. I thought Friday was tomorrow. I didn't know it was today. What is going on? Well, you know, when you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do, what are you going to do? Play some MK. Man, Lord have mercy. Bro, that red was actually crazy. I thought that man went flatline. That's how much red it was on the screen. <laughs> Guys, Red Rob is the drink of choice it. tonight. Man. Oh, good time to wait a second. Goro is always there. He is the homie. Why? Because he can do everything. Oh, I love that throw. All right, here we go. Another Ooh. one. With the switch. Trying to keep Illuminati honest. Like Illuminati, building up some meter. Yeah, those dive kicks. Those dive kicks doing the damage. Gotta be careful. Oh, that could have been real. Oh, wait a oh, minute. No. He did the wrong no. thing. He did Rising no. Star. Why did you go for That's Rising so Star? That's so unfortunate. I guess it's real. Wasted opportunity there. However, damage has been done. Oh, big interrupt, and that should be the kill. Might be unjust. It's going to go up 2-1 to one in the set. Illuminati, can you lock in? We're gonna let Unjust prevail and fight his fellow goon being pure. Right, here we go. Mighty Unjust. Looking to secure another top three finish. Seen it here before, but Illuminati. Kind of a newcomer, a new face, if you will, in uh, TNS. Their uh, first top eight appearance in a while, right? Oh, yes, yes. So what's the name of your film about us? And that's the thing I like to see, you know. I like to see these new, these new up and comers, these new faces make their appearances in top eight. You know, you got red new, you got red nose, illy silly, Illuminati, showcasing that it's not always just the usual suspects, right? You gotta be, you gotta keep your eyes out, regardless. Always keep your eyes out for those new hidden talents. There's plenty of it, but oh my gosh, how did you know to detect the throw? I forgot he's an Illuminati. I gotta stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, got caught. Wait, that didn't combo? That was interesting, but he knows the gas. Oh, gonna dive kick right in. We'll go to the overhead. Oh, wait a oh. second, you're staggering a little bit too much for me, pal. Oh, gets the back drop. Oh, gets the floor throw. Might as well do it again. Oh, wait, Goro came through, but it looks like Chameleon took the hit. How interesting. Oh, that was a counter hit? No way. Oh, but the duck on the throw. What a duck. And he did 2 1 into the noogie so he can get corner position, the awareness. 
Okay, Illuminati. It wasn't gonna come back. No, that was a bug earlier. <laughs> right, it's coming it's back. always supposed to come back. <laughs> always coming back to you. Set up the boomerang. Ooh, good catch. All right, anybody's game. Got to pull up the sail. Got to pull up the sail. Got to pull up the sail. Got to pull up the Oh, okay. That's a good choice there from Illuminati to get out of the chip. Oh, here we go. We saw a lot of this in the last time we saw Illuminati. Once they start cranking out those strings, that's a good sign, right? The confidence is mounting. Oh, he jumping back. Oh, he tried to go for anti. It worked out too good for him. Ooh, gets a throw. One ten. Oh, good blocks, and that's gonna do it. We're going to a game five. Here we go, nice. folks. Hee-ha. Right, so a beautiful adaptation there from Illuminati to even up the set, folks. We got another game five. Ain't nobody trying to go home, you know? Oh, yeah. Nobody wants to turn off that PS5 and look at their feeling for the rest of the night, wonder why they didn't just, you know, <laughs> down two. I could have blocked there, man. Why didn't yeah. I? Not the oh, worst. Hey, combo. I'm telling you guys, do, do not ever, ever, like, if you lose in a tournament, go to ranked and get a win before you go to sleep because there's nothing worse than you going, you turn off the game and, like, on a loss and you just sitting there thinking about it as you go to sleep. Don't do that. Yo, going to bed on an L sucks. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> you're going to be thinking about it. Time. Go to ranked, kill some scrub and ranked, and then go to sleep and feel good. Yeah, you, like, it, that it ain't going to be that big of nah. a deal. Yeah. Like, that salt is going to be accumulating while you're in bed, brother. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not a good look. Yeah, nobody likes to go to bed mad. You know, nobody likes to go to bed mad. Oh, almost out of space. Oh, poking the special, yeah. It's pride and truth. Oh, overhead. All right, here we go. Oh, gosh. The players have been exposed. I thought you converted that. I was about to lose my mind. Does Illuminati have any more tricks in the bag? About to see. We also oh. got to see, see about the gas. But we don't talk about too often is how much um like you know the mental fortitude you need to have to go make that losers run when you're in the lower side of the bracket for so long and both these boys have been in there for a minute so you got to have that mental perseverance yeah for sure and now it's getting to you know it's getting to that point where you got to make it worth it right like to go through all that suffering all those trials all those tribulations and to fall short definitely not a, a feeling you want to experience and mighty unjust Trying to wrap things up here on set point. Does oh, Illuminati have any more in the tank? Oh, he's trying to build up that height, you see him? Oh, yeah. Illuminati cool. tried to get oh. in with the dive kick. It's caught. Oh. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Oh, now he sparkled up. You can barely see him. Yeah, and I like how uh, Mighty Unjust is using that as an opportunity to switch the cameo manually, right? Because once you hold the button, the cameo is automatically switched for you. That's how you manually activate it. So he's using that crystal form as an opportunity to get that opening and gets the opening uh, that they need as they go ahead and close out the set. Three to two. Mighty Unjust with another top three placing will be facing off against Pure in. The losers finals. Unjust versus pure is happening. Make their way ahead. Oh, Jackal? I don't think it's gonna be um the Jester. I think it's gonna be the uh, the Galcast from Outworld has some things to say about coming to the Empress Palace unannounced. Right. Oh the trade? Who got wait pure got first hit the Jobs made me when I was down. Man. And now I'm up. And now you're all on my dick. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good old Barack against uh, getting his lick back right now as we Man. are facing off against Raiden. Pure is tried and true Raiden. 950 on 950 at this, by the way, too. Baraka Striker. Ignorance at its finest versus ignorance at its most poised. Raiden and Kano. 
Oh no. And had to break away from that. But these boys played each other a decent amount. I'm already knowing. So this is going to be really interesting to see how they each other counter each other. Oh my god. Did you see that back dash into oh, yeah. a button instantly from both of them? Oh yeah. Again. Both of these folks have been here before. No point in holding back. This boy's getting ripped. Oh, he died. Oh dear. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna put that away. Like, you know, that was from the last. That was from the last game. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We don't need that no more. We had different times here. Big shock from that taser. Don't taste me, bro. Oh no, stepping on the toes in the club like that under the disco ball. Y'all saw it. That's crazy. Ooh, poking the special. You guys love to see it, don't you? Oh, he gets shimmed. He's dead, actually. Uh uh uh. The optimization from Mighty Unjust as you see it. My gosh, the ground bounce with the EX sparks in the air was actually insane. The awareness for you to use your bar to do that combo was actually incredible. Unjust. Striker first blood, one well, no. All right, here we go. Mighty Unjust definitely trying to get in that top two position. Here, however, going to stay the course. After infection, when do symptoms first appear? 28 days later. Really? Chill out. Really? Dang that, that can't. Are you serious? Wow, that's amazing. I love that reference. That's actually OD. <laughs> They do a lot of good purposes in here, though. Yeah, that's 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 it. OD. I'm glad I'm not the only one that caught that. <laughs> love to see I've never it. heard that. I haven't. I've never heard that line either. You, you oh, know, man. about the first thing I did with a lot of MK games, I always listen to every interaction, like every interaction on YouTube. There's so it's many. Like, and they're, and they're a lot. I used to. I used to like literally just watch all for the whole 40 minutes up to see everything. Yeah. Because they give you hints on characters that's coming through. I'm like, I, people's like, oh, how did you know Noob was coming into MK11? I'm like, did you not hear Baraito's like freaking speech that he gave to Sub Zero MKX? Right. You guys didn't know. <laughs> Ready for Come on, Speaking of which, can't wait for New Cyber to make an appearance in, appearance in uh, MK2. Yeah. Movie. It's coming. It's gonna be crazy. I just know it. I just know it. Well, the duck, but the grenades are still there. That's why he has to. Leave. He has to stay safe. Guess I'll just out the games again. <laughs> oh my god, big con. This ain't looking too good for the butter. Oh, here we go. We're getting the chip damage going. Mm. Yep. Maintain a spot. Body unjust. He just kept doing it. Very healthy amount of real estate for themselves. They can take this, right? All they gotta do is just wait it out. I'm trying to weather the storm quite literally, but no, this man is just going to wait. Goes through with a chop chop for victory. It's really crazy when you think about like Brock is really suffering in this game to the point like anytime you use those blades, you see the blood come out as he's doing that. That is crazy to think about. Yeah, you know, we love Wolverine, right? We think those adamantium claws are so cool, but if you think about it, he's literally impaling himself every single time he has to fight. Crazy work. Also, I need to watch all the first X Men's again. Oh yeah. Mm, we oh love you, God. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> love you, Hugh Jackman. All right, here we go. Mighty Gun just doing what they do best, right? You see them do it with the Johnny. You thought it was just a Johnny? No, this is their, this is their bread and butter. Oh my gosh, this man's getting tased. Didn't, did, did he? Did he just? Didn't he just give like right in the power up Loki though? Like I keep the turtles man to a, a more. He's not a battery anymore. He's a generator. Yeah, you know, point. like, didn't we see this happen in, in the Avengers movie, right? Oh, yeah. Thor coming at Iron Man, and Iron Man's like, huh. The suit's well, at 500%. Right. <laughs> oh. <Not cool. laughs> but that worked. Thank you, Jarvis. <laughs> the duck on the throw, you just knew, huh? You just knew he was going to grip you up on this fine Thursday night, huh? Crazy work. 
That was a crazy interrupt. Did he hit Kano in the process so he couldn't break? He did. Kano got smacked so he couldn't break. And that's going to be the kill. Unjust 2 0 right now. And another one. Ugh. Oh, yeah. And toss him down for good measures. Put him in the dirt. Baraka has always been a cool character to me. Jobber or not, I think Baraka has been one of the coolest characters to me. Ever since the MK2 days, he had one of the coolest victory uh, animations, one of the coolest victory poses. The Chop Chop was so sick Legendary. in MK9. Like, MK9 Chop Chop was the best Chop Chop. He was just like, just, just rapid fire, work. right? The work, brother. He's just doing the work. Yeah, I mean, we get a, a the Chop Chop had to grow up, I guess, but yeah, no, you had that. And then uh, the victory where like he crosses the blades over and like bows. Like, it's, it was so he's good. just too good, bro. But I, I, I do say you crazy saying he was always cool. No, this is the most cool he's ever been. I don't know. MK9 Baraka was some, was some, was some pretty cool stuff, man. I, 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 I guess I should say overall. Like, character design, I like him in the story. I like how he, I really love his character story wise. Yeah, no, okay. Like, yeah, story wise, this is the best Baraka. Ever been. Like, Free. yeah. Like, and then, like, I don't know what. Like, it's. I think it's the orange effects on the blades that really do it for me. Because, like, when I saw him in the trailer, I was like, bro, he looks cool as. Look at the animation of the blade. Brother oh, in Christ, there's you no way he. Would be. No way. Unjust. Cut it out. Yeah, clip. Right now, hit that button. Hit that button. Wow. I don't think we need to commentate anymore. I think that just that, that just sealed the round right there. I, All right, man. I don't want <laughs> to say. Pure, what do you do to come back from that? Bro? Unjust just said it for us, right? Like I, do, I, just, I got I, this. I don't know what you do to come back from something like that, bro. You got your head stumped on after you tried to swing at the man. You literally got dunked on. That's crazy, like, man. Like Tarkadin foot to the back of your cranium is the worst thing to do. Let's get shimmed. All right, good flawless block. Oh, but it's right, here we go. Time. All right, here it's my turn. Look, for all your shenanigans, I'm still here. Oh, my goodness. Gonna get beat at the break, but I don't think he is. Is it the combo? However, if he gets hit again. Oh, no. The troll loops? It's a grenade? Oh, oh, wait, no. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, caught. you had to break there. And that's so unfortunate because Pure was right there, ready to get started. Oh, hands it back with the overhead zone. He didn't spin the bar. Blocks the overhead. No. Do it. Bro, that was Ooh. double mix. You saw that? He put the overhead baton after that, too, if he blocked it. And he still would have been. Yeah, that was just layers. You were strong. Appreciate everybody coming through as we are watching a Sendell versus Baraka Adidian showdown. It's happening. It's time. Grand. Violence. Mighty Injustice is going to be on the loser side. Koizy is going to be on the winner. Just a gentle reminder for those who do not know. When you're in the bracket and you have grand finals, the loser has to win two first of three sets, while the winner only has to win one of them. The loser has to take down the winner to the loser side so they can actually win the tournament, which is why they need to win two of those things. But we're going to see if Unjust can do that or Koizy can take it out and get the queen that she deserves. Oh my god, the boots to the face is crazy. And look at the dot damage on top of this. Oh my gosh. Brother, and here we go. Dead. We are now in the blender. Corner position. Mighty unjust. Trying to turn it up here. But Koizy with the corner. All right, getting the opener here. Fatal blow on the table. Taking, a, uh, taking that debuff. Oh, man. Oh, it just wakes up with the armor. Sometimes you just got to. I wonder, was that a down two or a back two that came out of um, Koizy right there? I don't know. All right, Mighty Unjust managed to uh, secure that down here. Koizy not phased. Oh, <gasps> and the catch from downtown. Oh, just swing it, huh? In front of the face? It's crazy, okay. He was flailing like a child. Yeah, but it's so dangerous trying to lift punch rock Right, yeah. All of those extra hits and those strings are so dangerous to uh, come across. All right. 
Heads down, seven up. Nope. Be out of there. Boy, oh, we swing. A bit of the lame game now, understanding that they debuff, they effectively debuff the striker cameo. So now, Mighty Gun just seemingly uh, having to do this alone here. Got to be real careful with those striker calls, right? And look how long it takes oh, just no. to get one co uh, cameo call back. That is the power of Sindel, ladies and gentlemen. Cool, oh, tried to poke under that, but no, I'm gonna get back to his trouble. Tries to go for up block, but hell did. Get Shim, the maids are there. Oh, another back throw, taking a bite out of that woman. She for sure got Tarkov. This is crazy. Another, yeah, you over with. Keep it a buff here. All right, here we go. Shim mm. damage in play. It is going to secure the first game. Mighty Unjust. Game number one going to the Mightiest Justin. In you should have believed in the vision. <laughs> That boy ain't got no vision. He can't even see nothing out of that helmet. Look at him. What is he looking at? He can't I see told you I wouldn't be down for long. <laughs> I just had a rough patch. The rough patch Same indeed. Now, we get a switch to the... Um, I wonder, did we get a switch to the Kung Lao? Baraka. Striker. All right, I'll gonna think about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I won't let Tarkat spread unabated. Herding us in the ghettos isn't the answer. Mm, you tell him. Talk that talk. That's for my people. Yeah, this shanty town shit is for the birds. The names are there. Oh, never mind. It was not the hair was though. Taking a page out of Willow Smith book. You whipping it? Oh no, we in the corner with it. But, oh my god, if this is a left to right block game, that would have been awesome. Oh, and a throw punish and a block is a 193. Ugh. Oh, armor right. Oh, another out. Out. That's it. Never oh mind. no, That's and a rare drop here from Koizy. No way, right? No way, right? No way. It's open. Yeah, it's open. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. I, 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 nah, it, it's done. It's done. What's <laughs> that raw, that, that like stray spin actually connected? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Got it tilted me a little bit and gave him like a couple extra hits. I probably would have got hit by the next week. I'd be like, all right, man. Like, really? <laughs> yeah. One thing, I know I know you guys know for commentary scripts, but I know when it's really over. <laughs> I know when oh it's Oh, my done. gosh. Do it again. This time you put the bar on that. Oh, tried to back dash to the back one. I'm positive, but the hair is so luscious. Yeah, you gotta be careful. That is uh, easily one of uh, Sindel's strongest normals you can see, right? Catch the back dashes, catch people trying to poke at odd angles or odd ranges. We try to boom in the face, but no. Yeah, right there. Multi hitting, so breaks mm. armor. Action Jackson, that's gonna Whoa. be the kill. That sparks up. Yeah, you can't do that for free. Now, this isn't gonna kill, but the situation afterwards will be kind of dangerous. Will there be armor coming out of Quasi, or will Unjust be wise to do a dash up down too? If I'm if I'm unjust, I wouldn't be afraid of it, right? You have enough health to take the knock down. And sure, Kung Lao had it right around the corner. But in these cases, do you really want to give Poise a chance to, to think about what they're going to do? Hell no. Like, if anything, I'm going to force you to make a decision, right? If you make the right one, so be it. You earned it. But you're going to have to make one regardless. Oh, beautiful jump run out of Poise to get that full confirmed. But wait a second, the armor coming out of unjust. And the right back at you. Ooh, taking a bath on there. Yeah, you taste good. Get over here. Uh. Ooh, armor points. Hand grenades just for the special effects this time. Oh, no poking the special. But wait a oh, second. Interrupt there. Again. The fly cancels are not entirely oh, no. uh, gapless. Oh! <laughs> Waiting for that armor. Alright, Mighty Young Dust here. Taking through. these uh, liberties, understanding. Yeah, and the oh, striker's coming around. Whoa, nice. that was so smart. Koizy immediately canceled into the screen, knowing that striker was around the corner, and used that as an opportunity to get time to respond. 
my goodness. Alright, so remember folks, this is a grand final set, meaning that Mighty Unjust is going to have to take not one, but two first to three sets. Koizy getting that first game ever so close to securing the victory. There are limits to everything, Baraka. There are limits? I don't want to know about these limits. <laughs> oh, that uplock was so clutch. Unjust. Strike it first. Oh, never mind. Oh, that could have been a combo, but didn't believe the way of blade charge in the face. And guess what? You tried to poke our grenades out? That's a full combo for me. Oh, man. Look at that damage off of that. Oh, my gosh. Poking the special? Oh. Yeah. The yeah. K Classic. Fight. Uh. Man, Brock, he kind of teed. You see him? Yo, Baraka is pissed. <laughs> nah, yeah, that, that boy is always yeah, he, like, he always on TN. Nah, nah, not like this, yo. He be trying to tell me, like, stop trying to clown me. <laughs> uh, so you think this is sweet? Nah. All right, like, dang. This car ain't sweet. <laughs> you know. Well, gets a screen from Burn. Wait a minute. Crazy. Oh, my God. That's just... No All right, so, uh, that moment. immediately giving it right back. Oh, hoo -hoo! Mm. Koizy trying to get something funky going there. The flight footsies from Koizy is always so impressive because it makes you second guessing when you want to throw out the up block and get Shin this time, though. Decisive game number three, by the way. Just going to decide who's going up in the set, but man, I don't even know it. Yeah, definitely anybody's game right now. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no, no with punish. The little walk back and the little wave back and forth in the air just to make sure that they try to go for a block knock to bait it out is so good for Koizy. But you gotta make a decision right now. You wanna try to go in or you wanna deal with the zoning? Yeah, Mighty Unjust has no problem opting to go for the ladder right because again, having that health lead, you're just gonna keep on uh, stuffing that Kung Lao assist. Oh, use the meter there. Now you're forced in a position. Oh, so just open eight. Oh, All his blocks. Mm -hmm. Up block. And that's gonna be that's huge the damage there. Koizy forced to force the break. Throw? Oh, oh. The chip damage is mounting that throw. Dangerous stuff Feeling there. Good. And then just continue to walk him back. Why? Because you had the life lead. Exactly. 10 seconds left on the clock, too. What are you going to do? Grenades. You have all the time and space in the world. If you don't have to play the game, don't do it. No point in giving it, giving it away, right? Oh, come on. That's boring. That's no. lame. Come on, play the game, bro. No, come on. Quit being, quit, quit being scared. Quit being a scaredy cat. No, I'm being smart. All right? There's a reason why Floyd Mayweather is one of the winningest, most paid, <laughs> greatest boxers of all time, okay? You can say what you want about his style, but know that that man's face still looks the same from 10 years ago. Yeah. You will be silent. You ain't got the cauliflower ears or none of that, you know? Man, just playing the patient at all times. Patient games. If you do not need to force the situation, you don't need to force the situation. You can stay cool. Yeah, minimizing unforced errors is definitely a key to victory in this case. Oh, try to up block there. Oh my God, that back dash. Poison like not to break one except the damage, but what's the wake up gonna be coming out here? And I like oh. that decision from Poison, right? To hold that to hold that damage and to hold on to the meter because that's kind of what Unjust wants, right? The ability to you know maintain the spacing without fear of any reprisal at that range. Because once Koizy has meter with some nail, right, they can just kind of blow up through the projectiles, they gain extra damage, and immediately things are turning out into their favor. And all they had to do, you know. Oh. Eat a little crow, so to speak, oh, right? God damn it. God damn it. Okay. 
still got a bar. Oh, That's never it. Mind. The, dar don't, the bar don't mean a damn when you dead. Don't mean a damn. Yeah. Don't die with money in your pocket, right? So, uh... Mighty Unjust. Trying to get this bracket reset. Just trying to make work for it. However... Mighty Unjust in. is uh, main sh making sure that they stay at a range where they can effectively check the Kung Lao cameo and hit Sindel. And that just goes to speak to the level of conditioning mm. that Striker can enforce, right? Because that string does have a high in it. But the fact that Mighty Unjust has utilized the cameo, the Striker cameo so well, has now convinced Koizy that it's ba maybe best to just sit there and block. Oh my God, the style of Koizy right now. I'm just trying to make his way in. He want to get his bracket reset right now. He don't want to go to the final round. Yeah, and Mighty Unjust is doing a great job of just taking what is given, right? Making sure oh. they capitalize off of the space. Made the read there. That jump You're going to so get the benefit good. for it. Oh, what an anti-air. Don't throw that hat because you throw that you die. That's what Unjust wants. What However, there's three bars on Koizy's side, so they do have Breaker. Mighty going throw. for the short hits, not giving him a chance to break. <gasps> He's no. trying to break now. Seven seconds on the clock. Shot, shot, shot. Oh, oh wait, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. And if you are mighty unjust, you are kicking yourself right now. Two seconds, and it was right in your hands. The reset was you right had there. it. We're going to a game. We're going to a round three. Going to round three. Are you, you over at four shot and talk about game five already, man. You want that to happen? It just might. You oh, here we go. Mighty Unjust oh, pressing on. Or is he looking for the stop sign? Oh, beautiful. The screen. Hard knock life. Floats. Nothing not the words. The plus Locks. Ring. The conversion. Nice switch. Mm -hmm. Another throw of two to break back out the corner. Grenade. Yeah, and that was good stuff there from Mighty Unjust, right? Using the back grab instead, because the typical thing to do would be the front grab, which would make it a lot easier to break. Mighty Unjust understanding that. Again, taking what is given. All right. Back in this position again. 27 seconds left on the clock. Mighty Unjust with three bars. Just being picked, bro. Who would have thought it'd be a game? MK game? We gotta chase a Tarkov, bro. Oh my God! Unjust with the reset, three to one, guy. We got another set on the way. Crazies and losers, and Unjust smells the blood. Ain't the there blood you deep. have it. There you have it, folks. Mighty Unjust with the bracket reset, taking the first set three to one, mind you. Almost slipped out of their fingers towards the end there, but they managed to uh, to clean it up, stick things out. Again, I hope everybody's having a good time tonight. Welcome to TNS MK1 number 19. Going super strong here. Almost six months of MK1 action. Hope everybody's been having a good time tonight. Make sure that you are still utilizing those Majorinos, folks. The codes are spent, but the opportunities are not. That sponsor quest is still sitting there waiting for you to hit that retweet button. You can contribute 50 cents to the pot for free. Very easy. Ain't but a few clicks. Ain't one but a few clicks, but wait a second. Gotta try to walk the way down. Good luck with that. Oh my god, oh, I got clipped in the toe. Just a throw. Oh, he's throwing a really adding up against Poison right now. Oh no, and Kung Lao got stuffed. This gonna be a little extra damage on top of that because he got hit. 349. Oh no, stepping on the toes too. This might spell death actually. Oh, the dot damage on top of that? Yeah, I just want to make sure he secures the kill. Is the issue, but oh my god, all right, here we go. Mighty Unjust riding the wave. 
definitely uh, capitalizing off of that momentum here. And there's, this is where that mental fortitude starts to come into play, like Tento said earlier. What the hell? So you got to find a way out. I don't even know how to hit, but yeah, you definitely got to find your way out. This is going to be really interesting to see, too, because you got to test out Koizis, uh as well. Us, I've seen him time and time again do this, but like during a reset, I haven't seen Koizy too much doing this. So we're going to see what the adjustment is, but right now, the bro, it's going to do something. Beautiful up block. Oh no. Breaks immediately. Big jump. Beautiful up block right back at you. I don't want to see them crusty toes. Get away from me. Got some Jerusalem 12 zone. Oh no. Mmm. Oh, oh no. Tortuga with the subscription. Appreciate that. Oh, state. Just threw at the block down poke. Unjust. You're kind of crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're, you're actually. Right, here we go. 25 seconds. We've seen this left. before. <gasps> oh it. no. Oh no. That's oh it. no. Oh no. Light her up, like brother. You mad person. Bro. Violence on violence, Smith. Unjust is striking first blood in the reset. One up over Koizy right now. Wow. Golly. And that is the danger and also the wonder of the mighty unjust, right? The fact that this person has an entire Rolodex of characters that they can just pull from at any given moment. We have Baraka seen them play Johnny. We have seen them play Baraka. We have seen them take the flavor of the week or month, if uh, what have you, DLC character and literally put them in top three. They did it with Quan Chi and Omni Man, right? And this is just something that just keeps on happening. Like mighty unjust. It's because if you beat one character, they got four more. Four more, and just like you know, it's, it's, it's like it's like he's a Pokemon trainer. You feel me? Like he just throws out the next Pokemon once the other one thinks, and it's just like, brother, yeah, all the elements. Do, do, do you really get the whole Pokedex in the back pocket, my bro? Like I'm gonna need you to chill out because you because you really you, you really grinded my gears. You really got me heated. So why you making me feel like this? Why you got this woman in the background jumping because you beat my ass in the corner? This ain't funny, bro. Hey, Yo, and she's laughing. getting into it, right? Like, ooh, like it, it, it's, it's not funny. Like chill out. Ooh. Chill out, game. This ain't it. Ain't nothing sweet about this ass whooping. Like that referee, right? Yep. One loves his dog a little too much. <laughs> like, ooh, 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 that jab, that, that jab was like it hurt. Right, like, straight hook. <laughs> yeah, bro, son, you got uppercutted for sure. Uh huh. For sure, you're right on. For sure, you're right on. Oh my god. Oh my bro. gosh. And Mighty Unjust is on a tear right now, immediately moving forward here, taking the first round, looking to get another one. Immediately snaps the fingers. You gotta, you gotta hit him where it hurts, right? That cameo. Oh, wait, sniping. Definitely snipe with these blades. The damage is definitely adding up. Close some back freeze, grenades on deck for throw. Oh my god, taking another bite out of this woman. Jesus, she's been through enough. Has to break Koizy and that's trouble. also true. Omni Man weak at TNS, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Unjust went all the way through in winners. I had a blast that night. <laughs> Man, just chest bump, chest bump, chest bump, grab, Yo. chest bump, chest bump, chest bump, <laughs> grab. Sunio was literally like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> he was like, Bro, Nolan, please stop. Yo, like, what does this character do? <laughs> Nolan, please stop, bro. And oh my gosh, folks, we might have a full a full run back from from losers. Mighty Unjust is currently sitting on the opportunity to clear the tournament out. Reset the bracket 3-1 and is looking to take the bracket 3-0. But Koizy making a switch here, bringing out the Ashra. Ashra is on the tech, aka Ashtray, because she's about to be smoking, okay? Oh yeah, now it's time to play some neutral, right? That four two, that back two, that four three, that back three, he that said four play four, neutral. that down two, that one two two, baby. He said play neutral. This man did chop chop immediately. 
Yeah, oh yeah, Mighty Unjust is feeling it right now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not doing none of this. We'll try to grab him. Man. We can grab what you can't see. Oh my so god. We're rocking bro. the uh, Ashra Serena shell here. A very annoying shell, by the way. Oh yeah, absolutely. You think Ashra has range now? Wait till you get these half screen. Wait till you get these full screen blades forcing you to respect her authority. Flawless blocks there. The armor. Gets out of the way. Now the problem is, right? Quasi can't get touched. Because if you get touched, you die. So I'm praying you don't get touched right now. Because if you do, it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna be too good for you. I, I will say that. Like yeah, it's, but it's Ashra not is one of the best at maintaining it right now that they're in dark mode. They pretty much have access to a flash parry. So Mighty just needs to be careful here. Oh no, yeah, jeez. Oh, it gets the corner too. Oh no, it just it actually just stays right there. Okay, okay. Try and kill me. Yeah, okay, brother. Goading. Beckoning Koizy to finish the job. Mighty un sitting on tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. Could possibly finish the deal right now, unless Koizy has something to say about that. By the way, Koizy is going to be locked in for the rest of the set with uh, Serena and Ashra. So you have to run it back three games straight with this character that you believe in. And to be honest, this is not a, a, an entirely terrible decision, right? Because it's not. In dark mode, Ashra can actually punish Baraka really badly for those projectiles. So, and not to mention having access to Serena, being able to uh, have other ways to the zone as well. So, uh, you know, Koizy does have options against this, uh, you know, this full screen onslaught. And then, not to mention utilizing that Angel Dash right to get out of the way. Gosh, more throws and most definitely that kill. Oh, this ain't good. This is not good. Poise, you got one more chance. Nice. No armor, right. dude. Locking the plus frames. Plus frames. No dice. Oh, nice. Duck the grab. Oh, no, did the wrong Serena call. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and another rare drop there from Poise. With Poise fighting on. Not much time left, though. 15 seconds left on the clock. Oh. It's mighty unjust game to lose. Eight. Five seconds left. Oh wait, gotta oh, make no, it work. You had to go into fatal immediately. <gasps> you got so lucky. You got so goddamn lucky. If you didn't, if you extended that combo any further, you would not have gotten that. You should have went Yo. to fatal immediately. Yo. You scared me so bad with okay, that. Okay, Koizy, you 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 kind of you kind of gambling a little bit there. All right, you you made it, but <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that again. <laughs> Bro. All right, here we go. Koizy continuing to fight on. All right, getting a little bit more comfy into the zoning situation here. Tries to punish to jump in. Doesn't get anything. Angel dash shenanigans. Oh, got caught with way immediately breaking. The low. Oh, that's, oh, that's punish. punishable. Full screen only. And now we in the corner with it. Now, do we see another throw? No, oh. he goes for back three. But he went for oh, throw that time. Couldn't get the punishment to throw. You need to stand two there. Dashing in back and forth. The mid. The yeah, overhead. there it is. Oh, you could have comboed that. Circle. Oh, no. Is that it? No, 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 no. It's not, it's not. But he's going for dodge damage for sure, right? No, he did not. Poking the special might do it. Oh, oh my armor. gosh. And body unjust with the clean sweep. Takes the game, takes the set, takes the whole damn tournament with the loser's run of a lifetime, clearing out Koizy three to none.